Hello everybody, in this video uh, I'll be showing you guys how to make uh, the inside of your Chuck E. Cheese uh, or Chuck E. Cheeses, however you, whatever, however you want to say it uh, in Minecraft. So I did a uh, out outside tutorial of my Chuck E. Cheese um, and now I'll be showing you guys how to make the inside of it. Um, so yeah, um, if you haven't made the outside I would highly recommend you do that obviously um, before we do. Um, but yeah, before I get to the tutorial, I'm going to quickly, as quick as I can at least, show the inside, because there is a lot of stuff on the inside, and this, yeah, this is going to be a very long tutorial, so strap yourselves in, but anyways, now, do keep in mind I've never been to a Chuck E. Cheese before, I'm only, I've uh, based everything off of what I've seen in Google Images, so, um, so when you walk in, there's apparently like a place where there'd be like a staff member right here. Um, I guess, you know, the parents pay and like this is where the kids get stamped or something then they let you through. This is meant to be where they keep the money, you know, let's like make this a little more realistic. You walk in and you can see there is a lot going on in here and of course my uh, my uh, camera was not in focus or not fully in on the screen. I'm going to zoom out a bit. This is a bit uh, zoomed in. I hate when it's all the way zoomed in like that. Anyways, so you walk in. Uh, so here I'm just going to go ahead and show this off. We got the prize counter. Um, so this obviously tells you. Oh, like the prices of like like how many tickets you need for each prize now obviously some of these look a little um, questionable but you know Minecraft really doesn't offer you too much in terms of like uh, excuse me toys and stuff uh, this is where you know that you can keep the tickets these are like these are fake prizes these are just meant to be like decor decorative and stuff these are like the candy and whatever that they keep in like the case there and of course registers and all that um, Tokens. Uh, this is an actual working token machine. You just click it, and it gives you a token or you know a golden uh, nugget, whatever you want to say. Uh, here is like a little roller coaster ride. Uh, not a roller coaster ride, but like a little uh, cart ride thing. You know, kind of a ride on thing. So you can sit in it. Uh, you turn it on, and you know it kind of it takes a little while for it to really get going. But once it gets going, this one actually went. This one. This time it actually uh, started going a little quicker than I thought it would. But yeah, you can see it goes round and round, and then you can just turn it off and it stops. But yeah, pretty cool. Um, this is like where you get put your tickets on. It does or put your tickets in. It doesn't actually do anything. Uh, here we got bumper cars. Uh, and yes, uh, Chuck E. Cheese surprisingly has a bumper card ride, bumper car ride or something. So you know we got a red boat, got an orange boat. Is where you can you. It's pretty small, but I mean you know it's. It gets the job done. You slide around on the ice. You bump into your friends, and yeah, there you go. You just have a ton of a ton of fun. Uh, and here we got the uh, the famous ticket blaster. I need to get into view here. It really doesn't like blast tickets at you. I wanted it to do that. I tried so hard to get it to do that. It really is. It was so hard to do that without having so much like either to, either making it super big or you know having a lot of stuff exposed. So yeah, it really it's really just something that gives you tickets like the. Name tags are supposed to be tickets. Uh, here we got a basketball game, so you would take your basketball or your heart of the sea, for that matter, uh, and then you kind of like try to score a goal, uh, and then it goes into the hopper, and then you click the button, it gives you your ball back, uh, and then it's uh, it's pretty fun. You just do this numerous times, and you know, pretty pretty fun overall. You can go with your friend and see how many scores you can get compared to your friend or whatever. Uh, this this doesn't do anything. It's just a little zombie game. It, you light up the zombie and it gives you a ticket, and it, and it works on all sides here, by the way. So it's it's supposed to be zomb a zombie snatcher, but you know it's not exactly the best. Um, and then here we have uh, oh the minecart's not supposed to be like that, but uh, yeah this was supposed to be like a car ride kind of game. So here I'm gonna try to do this put that back there we go so it's kind of like one of those cars you ride on it's kind of got like the animatronic riding with you that's what that is that's what this is you know so that's like repeat tickets and it's a pretty nice looking car overall it's honestly pretty cool this is the uh the famous clock ride uh you uh, ride on the clock arm this one doesn't actually work really but you can sit in it so you know thought i'd make that i think i did pretty well on that that one looks good this is probably the one and only um, non-functioning thing. This is the tubes, you know, the big, you know, the big crazy tubes or whatever. This is like the car you can re sit in or whatever. All the tubes you can crawl through. Um, what else? We got tables here with pizza and drinks and all sorts of stuff. We got some other tables here as well. Um, here we got more arcade machines. So these are just some basic arcade machines. You click a button, it lights up, and it gives you... So similar to the Zombie Snatcher, you know, it lights up and gives you a ticket when you click the button. You know, pretty cool. And that's for all the machines. And then this is a claw machine. Literally this one, 
you just, you know, you kind of pretend to grab your prize and then you click the button and the machine gives you your prize. And what's nice is that it actually gives you like random prizes. So it'll give you a creeper, you know, another creeper. Uh, so it's, you know, zombie. So it's actually, you know, because it kind of seems like, you know, it's giving you like, because usually obviously when you go into a claw machine, it'll give you like a random prize. Uh, and then of course here we got an air hockey table. Uh, so, you know, this one's pretty self-explanatory. You just grab your heart of the sea. So you want to shoot from here because if you shoot from here, it's going to fall into the, ho the hopper. Uh, yeah, you just slide this across and then if you're on the other side You want to try not to get it into the hoop or into the hopper which on minecraft It's kind of hard without having to stand onto the table um, But really, you know, you got to try and get it into the other point opponent's goal And then these little red and blue buttons are meant to represent like how many points so you can like Remove all the buttons and place a, a button every time each of the opponent opponent like each of the teams like get a point or something and yeah, so there's that, uh, and I think that's all the like machines and stuff, all the functioning machines. The stage is probably by far the best part of this. You can see the, and these are animatronics that actually, you know, move up and down, and like there's like music playing, so it looks like they're dancing and all sorts of stuff. So these are like the instruments they play on the stage. So this is by far the coolest part of the, the, the place. And yes, I will show you how to make the mechanism for that. It is very, very tricky to make, so uh, bear with me on that. Um, and now for the boring parts, the rooms. <laughs> These are kind of the boring parts. So of course the manager's office. Nothing too fun about this. It's just a desk and some storage, more storage, and a printer. You know, clock, all sorts of stuff in here. This is actually the first time I've ever put a manager's office in uh, any of my builds. I think so. Oh, and then in here is actually like um, like Chucky's outfit. So like one of the employees can dress up as Chucky and go around and have fun. You know, play with the kids and whatever. Um, and then in here we of course have uh, the kitchens where they cook all the pizza. Um, so this is kind of why I consider Chuck E. Cheese a restaurant because you know it's pretty. It technically is because it's like where they cook food. Okay, you know, so we got storage, got all kinds of sauces like where they cook the pizza. The, this white carpet's meant to be flour, you know, so the dough isn't sticky. You know what I mean? This is the pizza oven, of course, uh, soda machine, all sorts of stuff, and then fridge is where they keep all the cold stuff, and then of course the uh, <laughs> the freezer. Um, all right, yes, I just realized this is taking forever now. This door, of course, just leads out to the back of the restaurant. I'm not going to go out there. It's pretty pointless. And finally, we have the bathrooms, which there's nothing fun about these. It's just a toilet and a sink. Nothing nothing special about these. So, But what is cool is that there's a fun sign here that tells you where they are. Because obviously, if you're around here, you're not really going to find them. So they're kind of back in this corner here. So... You know, the sign lets you know where they are, so that's, I like the blockades for that. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, oh, and also, I forgot one more thing. This is the uh, dance floor, so it actually works. You can, it lights up and plays music. Uh, of course, I have my sound off, but otherwise you'd hear, like, the note blocks playing music. So yeah, that's another thing I forgot to mention, but... Yeah, I think that's now. I think that's now everything. So yeah, that's yeah. So that's uh, the entire inside. I'm gonna show you how to make all of this in this video today. So as you yeah, you guys already know, um, this is gonna be a very very long tutorial. So uh, strap yourselves in. But anyway, guys, let's get on to uh, materials. All right, y'all. So yeah, you're gonna need a ton of materials for this build. Four large chests full of materials. Uh, so. Just go ahead and grab everything you see. Uh, yeah, you're gonna need a ton as you guys can already see here, so um, I'm just gonna kind of fetch through all this here um, Yes, yeah, so this is kind of what I do. I highly recommend just kind of pausing uh, I'm sure most of these you can easily identify but you know some of them may be kind of hard to see You know what they are because a lot of materials do look the same so you may have to kind of look and see what uh, materials they are so yeah but I like to kind of just scan through so that it pops up the name of the material so so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing here um, there's a lot so yeah um, by the way the glazed terracotta is just random you don't have to grab those specific colors so yeah, just, you know, grab those, uh, however the banners do have to, are, are specific, so any kind, any banner you see is specific, so you, might, you do want to grab those colors, as well as the colored glass, that's also specific, um, and of course the concrete specific, so, just so you know, if, you know, you don't have to grab the certain colors, I would definitely grab the amount that you see, though, as well, um, just to really... Yeah, but anyway, on to the last chest here. And also for the banners, um, you want to grab um, a loom, purple uh, banners, uh, then white and purple dye. 
and then yeah you should be good there um but yeah and then you can already see the banners you have to make i'm not gonna go sc scrolling through those but anyways um i would also i would also recommend grabbing some night vision because um you know it's gonna be pretty dark in there so all right so first off i'm gonna get lost in all these chests because i have no idea what materials are where you're gonna want to grab some light gray terracotta and some birchwood planks because we're gonna and also you probably want to go ahead and grab yourself some uh, gray wool um go ahead and grab yourself some chiseled quartz sea lantern jungle with planks uh what else could we grab um uh let's see what else do we have here uh, go ahead and grab yourself some block of netherite, and then I think... <sighs> Do we have quartz bricks? I don't think I grabbed those, did I? No. Okay, well, we'll wait on those. Um, unless I already grabbed those. No. Okay, we'll wait on those. Okay, we don't have to worry about that now. Okay, first things first, you're going to walk in. You're right, you see the door here. Literally directly beside the door, um, you're just going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the light gray terracotta coming out and then going towards this wall here you're gonna leave a gap of two and then just put a light gray and then everything else you can just fill up with the birch alrighty so pretty cool and then you can just leave a gap of two from the bottom there and then yeah literally just fill everything up here this is the little entryway area so we're basically doing all the walls first um all right so once you've done that uh, right here so you can see where we have kind of the walls exposed into the building you guys can't see because my window glare I do apologize about that but um but yeah with your light gray terracotta you want to just fill the bottom of this up like so and then you want to just kind of dig out this first like layer of um, blocks here and you can just do it up to the up to the birch because the ceiling is going to be covering everything else up so you don't have to worry about all that but yeah so just up to here and then just all the way down dig all this out and then um and then fill the rest with birch so this really just smooths out the wall um really makes it look good so yeah just really uh just fill all this up so yeah i really need to get some curtains for my room i'm tired of this window glare Alrighty, and then of course you would just um i should probably grab night vision shouldn't i yeah i should probably should probably go ahead and uh, w uh have some night vision so yeah um yeah so light gray terracotta at the bottom here and then dig out this all this up here and then again fill this all up so yeah literally just kind of fixing up the walls making them look good all right this really does help doing that this really does help make the walls uh all come together so it does it it it, 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 uh, it looks really nice in the end but yes you can see everything's all smoothed out now well except for of course the sides here i forgot about these so right here same deal you just want to delete the inside layer here and then just fill it up with birch these ones are obviously easier so but yeah so now once you've gotten these it's all the walls should be um all the walls here should be good all right next thing you want to do is you want to again grab your uh light gray terracotta all right so we're going to come to the back here we're going to go ahead and come to these windows here these two windows so you see this first window right here all right you're going to go just directly beside it here like right at this block you're going to put two uh, two blocks, two light gray terracottas. You're gonna leave a gap of one, and then do one, two, three, and then go extend, and then ex just extend it all the way to the wall there. Come back to this terracotta here. You're gonna go to the right by four, and then extend it back by one, two, three, four, five, six, just like that. Come back to this block here. You're gonna go one, two, three, four five blocks to the right, and then on this fourth block here, you're gonna leave a gap of one going back, and then just extend that all the way back there like so and then from this and then come back to this block here you're gonna leave a gap of two and then do uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen blocks all the way going towards the right a gap of two and then one two three four five six all right from that sixth block you want to go back by one gap of one back by three gap of one then one at the wall and this very middle block here you're going to come back uh, toward towards the left by one two three four and then you're gonna go up by three and then down by three as well and there you go so those are so these are the bathrooms this is obviously the kitchen uh, fridge freezer manager's office so we just laid out all those walls and literally just you know extend you know just put all the kinds of layers of uh, um, birch planks on top but of course where the doors are you want to make sure that you know they're 
you know, there's a two block space, you know, where the doors are, so like this. So that's basically what I'm doing here, just kind of making a two block space. But yeah, and then just fill everything up, uh, everything else up with the birch planks all the way up until the birch planks end right here. So as high as the birch planks are right here. Okay, everyone, once you have filled up your walls here, uh, you want to go ahead and grab your quartz, some quartz bricks and block of iron. Uh, I don't think I included that in the chest because I, I know I always forget a ton of stuff. We're going to start doing the flooring now. So basically take your gray wool and go ahead and dig out everything uh, in the flooring here. Uh, of course, I am kind of limited to what, uh, you know, because I have all these markings here to mark out where the machines go. It makes the tutorial a lot easier, so that's why I have those, but... But yeah, literally, so yeah, obviously you guys don't won't have any of that, so really all you have to do is just dig out the flooring here in the entryway room, and then all of like this whole area here, as well as uh, over here as well, and then the manager's office as well. So you want to go ahead and dig out all that flooring all around here, all the grass, and then just fill it all up with uh, gray wool. Okay, everyone, once you have filled up the entire main room of the place, with your gray wool as well as uh, the manager's office, uh, you want to continue filling up all the floors. I would actually recommend going and digging out every other floor as well. So just make sure all the floors are dug out that are grass. Uh, so for the bathrooms, you want to fill them up with quartz bricks. And I'm just, oops, I'm just going to go ahead and do this on recording because it's literally super easy. So very, very quick and easy for the bathrooms. Um, yeah, like I said, fill them up with quartz bricks. Uh, as for the kitchen, uh, you want to fill that up with iron. So course you won't have any of this junk here but uh yeah you just want to go ahead and of course under this back door as well you can do that but yeah just go ahead and fill up the kitchen with iron uh blocks uh blocks of iron and then as for the kitchen or as for the fridge and freezer you want to do block of netherite um for this but yeah so fill in the bl uh, the fridge and freezer with block of netherite bathrooms with quartz bricks and then the kitchen with block of iron all right, y'all, once you get uh, the kitchen, bathroom, and fridge and freezer flooring done, that's pretty much all of the flooring uh, done. So um, what you guys are going to want to do now is put ceilings in. So grab chisel quartz blocks, um, go two blocks above the doors or just like right above the windows here like so. Um, and then just all around here, um, I would do this big area first I do the main like area first before I do any of the like other rooms of the building so just I don't know it just it just makes things easier I feel like just to do this all right so yeah do you want to just make a big square in the ceiling like there on top here just like this all right and then um, yeah and then you can like divide these up by one so like here you can just divide this all up by one and what's great about doing this is that we won't have to carry the night vision anymore so we can just get the ceilings done and over with we won't have to worry about the night vision anymore so yeah so I would just yeah so going like um, going like the lights going from this end to this end you guys can already see how I'm, how I'm doing it uh, you want to leave a gap of one from each like um, chiseled quartz obviously in the gaps of ones that's going to be where the um, lanterns or will be the sea lanterns and then of course you just want to extend each of the chisel quartz up to the end here um, as for the bathrooms I mean this should be pretty uh, self-explanatory I mean this really shouldn't be difficult at all this one really only takes one sea lantern so you can just do these like this like it's the bathrooms are, are pretty much the easiest parts of this whole building because it's just a toilet and a sink in each one it's so easy um, and then as for the uh, the kitchen um, again, you just want to make a big like rectangle in here. Um, <sighs> so uh, yeah, it's literally just like this, all the way through. Gaps of one here, and then of course in those gaps of one, you would put the sea lanterns. All right, and then uh, for the fridge and freezers, I mean again, self-explanatory. I mean you just make the box and then you just you put the lantern in it it's super super easy so don't even have to explain it um, and then the manager's office of course should be self-explanatory as well you'll notice that all the ceilings are pretty much all the lights are pretty much even so yeah all the lights are even so yeah and then the manager's office it's a little uh, yeah no that manager's office is pretty easy as well as you can see you just do it like this and there you go so yeah, so then, of course, for everything else, you know, for, you know, any, uh, you know, extend all the chiseled quartz to the end, and then in, in, every, in every gap that you see, go ahead and put sea lanterns. 
Okay, y'all, once you have added all of the ceilings, um, yeah, you won't need the night vision anymore, which is great. So now, you go ahead and grab iron door, acacia door, dark oak door, and crimson door. Uh, with the acacia door, you want to come just to the front doors here and just start placing the doors here, like so. For the bathrooms, of course, that takes dark oak, because you gotta have privacy, am I right? Uh, oh, and we actually need jungle door as well, I forgot about that. Okay, you want jungle door, that's gonna be for the kitchen on both sides here and then of course the iron door is for the uh excuse me the back door um which you can go ahead and grab a button for that as well uh, and you can just put that right there all right and then the freezer and fridge doors are crimson so go ahead and get those put those there and then the manager's door uh, manager's office door is also dark oak so and there you go so there's all the doors in the entire building placed um so yeah, we got the flooring done, we got the walls done, got the ceiling done, so now we can start adding all the machines and stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be quite a hassle, but let's get on to it. But first we're going to do the entryway area, so we're going to just go ahead and clear out all this because we won't need them anymore. So go ahead and grab yourself now. I'm going to get lost in all these chests, like I said, so because I have no idea where everything is. Okay, here we go. So we need painting, lectern, birch fence gate, bookshelf, lectern. Or lantern, wow, I'm stupid. Book and quill, and then uh, as an option, if you don't want to add this or not, grab a chest. All right, so come inside, like in the front door here. You're gonna leave a gap of one, or sorry, leave a gap of three from this first door here, right here. So, oh, ugh, excuse me. So this door right here that I, I'm opening and closing, you wanna leave a gap of three from there. You wanna put a bookshelf with a lantern on top, all right? Um, and then a birch fence gate, and then, oh, wait, never mind, hold on, we're doing this wrong. You want to put a lectern uh, with a um, book and quill on top. Then, you know, of course, the fence gate. And then the bookshelf and lantern right there. All right, that's how you want it to work. Or that's how you want it to be. And behind the bookshelf, this is an option. You can put a chest here. Um, doesn't have to be trapped. It really doesn't matter. But, yeah, so uh, this, this will be, like, for money. So if you want to do role play, you can put money in there. Of course, you don't have to add that chest to, if, if you don't want to. And then, of course, the painting. You know, you got to have a painting in here. Otherwise, it's boring in here. So, yeah, I definitely would recommend doing that. And then you can also put one, like, a one-by-one, one, oops, uh, right here as well. That'll look pretty good. So, yeah, just definitely, you know, some paintings. And then I would also grab some black carpet. I, uh, I didn't grab that. But, you know, this is also an option. So, you, I would definitely, you know, put, like, black carpet here and here. So, like, when it's, like, snowy, you can come in and wipe your feet off. So you're not tracking snow everywhere. If it's like raining, you stepped in mud or something. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, there you go. So that's literally it. That's the entire. That's this whole area. I mean, you can do some other stuff with this in here if you want, but that's that's pretty much it. So, all right. So now, um, let's go ahead and start. Um, let's go ahead and do the bathrooms now. We're gonna. I'm trying to. I want to do all the easy stuff for all, out of the way. I want to get all that out of the way. So, um, and then yeah, black carpet's already up there. All right. So go ahead and grab yourself some, uh, right, some quartz block, some smooth quartz stairs. Go ahead and grab the uh, warp sign and crimson sign, and then um, it's probably going to be in this chest. Uh, no, it's going to be in this chest. Here it is, yep. Stone button, uh, banner pattern, pet black dye, empty map, light blue banner, trap wire hook, item frame, and I think that's it. Oh, nope, nope, wait. I forgot something. We also need spruce trap door. All right. So yeah, grab all that. Alrighty, and then once you have grabbed all that, you want to come to the bathrooms. Uh, you want to mark the warp sign uh, on the side. You want to put uh, the warp sign on the side of the door. You want to mark that men, and then uh, the other one obviously wants to be women. Uh, oops, can't spell it right. There we go. Women. There we go. All right, got to obviously separate them. Um, yes, yeah, so this is literally super easy. So you're just going to come to the wall here. You're going to put two quartz block uh, with a gap of one in the middle, and then have a quartz stair in that gap of one facing the wall. All right, and then um, you can go ahead and put away your signs now and grab your trip wire hook and item frame. All right, trip wire hook above the stair, item frames on either side, and then above the uh, trip wire hook, you want to put a, blank, a blue banner, pink dye, empty map, that's soap and paper towels. Over here uh, for the toilet, you want to put a quartz block just in the air like this and then down diagonally like so. Upside down stair, delete this block, upside down stair as well. All right, uh, item frame, banner pattern. Uh, button and then finally the trap door for the toilet seat boom there you go and that's the bathroom and that's literally what you do on the other side as well so I'm not even yeah literally and you could also do it swapped so like you don't have to have the sink on the same wall you can have the sink on this wall so like it's like this um, 
But yeah, this is literally so simple. I'm not even I'm not even gonna go over the instructions because it's just so easy. Um, but yeah, so this is. Oops, can't even do this right. There we go. Oh, gosh, guys. See, you all see how bad I am at this. You guys can do so much better than me. <laughs> um, but yeah, there we go. So there's the trap door. Oh, and then I forgot uh, to put the banner pattern in there, of course. All right. And then, uh, of course, the banner. But yeah, and then that's the um, that's the bathrooms. Again, super, super easy. Um, yeah, and now I guess we'll go ahead and do the freezer and fridge because, again, those are really easy to do as well. It literally doesn't require that many materials. Uh, so yeah, just go ahead and uh, start putting everything back in the chests here. I would definitely do this uh, just so you don't have to um, like if you're once you're done building something I would definitely put the materials away so you don't have like a bunch of materials on you and then it's all weird You know, so All right, so what you're gonna need uh, of course. I don't remember what chests any of this stuff is in um, I think it's in this first chest uh, Right, okay. Yes, so you need a scaffolding you're definitely going to need Iron Trap Door, which I don't know if I grabbed that. I know, I know I grabbed that. There it is. Yeah, right there. Iron Trap Door, and then um, Beehive, Item Frame. We're going to need Item Frames. Uh, the Rabbit Stew, Tried Kelp, Beetroot Soup, and Baked Potato, as well as the Bread. Go ahead and grab all that. Uh, go ahead and grab Chest, which I'm just going to pick block the chest that I already have here. Um, and then I think, yeah, and then you can grab Barrel if you want to, but that's not really necessary. Um, and I'll say I'll explain why so you're gonna come into the uh, we well, should already be in the freezer by now But uh, yeah, you're gonna come into the fr the fridge first um, And you're just gonna put iron trap door along here. So literally just along the walls here like this uh, You can even make this go above here and then just have another row of stuff um, All right, sorry everyone I had to go take care of something but anyways Yeah, so once you uh, you also want to do the this on the other side as well all right, and then in the bottoms here, or not the bottoms, but on this like bottom row here, you want to just put a row of item frames, and that's pretty much all you can put. That's all you can really put them. And then this is where you kind of put like rabbit stew and you know all kinds of random stuff. Um, literally, these are meant to be like stuff for the pizzas and whatever. All right, and then in the freezer, uh, you just want to put a bunch of scaffolding. Uh, I think you want to just put about up till yeah, just up till what yeah. So three rows of scaffolding. Obviously, you can't put it above the door, but because um, then it will fall. But yeah, so then uh, yeah, so you want to do this on the other side as well. And then on the top here is where you want to start putting the uh, I don't know what happened to the oops. Oh well, that didn't work. Wait, can you actually do this then? Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't look good, so I wouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, yeah. So then you can get rid of these two materials, grab these two materials, and then. Yeah, just kind of start, like, placing them in here. Um, so, you know, again, just kind of putting whatever in here, like I said. So, yeah, so you just want to stack those up there. These are just meant to be, like, random boxes and stuff stored up here. So, and, yeah, so there's the fridge and freezer completed. So, um, so yeah, I suppose we should probably get the uh, get the kitchen done, and then that'll be, well, except, and then we have to do the manager's office. But, yeah, then that'll be the entire, uh, that whole entire Back area done, so, oops, alrighty, let's see, um, okay, yeah, there's like nothing, uh, okay, I'm like trying to figure out, oh, okay, here we go, could have just went in here, where everything was already out, uh, okay, yeah, and I still have one more item to put in here, what the heck, uh, I know there's one spot somewhere, nope, there's not apparently, okay, well, that's dumb, alright, okay, so now, uh, we're gonna need, oh gosh, we're gonna need a lot of materials, guys, we're gonna start with this, so we have a brick block, brick stairs, loom, uh, item frame, pumpkin pie, campfire, um, and I think, what is it, black stone button, I think it was, well, no, it was the regular buttons, yeah, it was the stone buttons, I don't know why I said regular buttons, stone buttons, where's the stone buttons at, oh my gosh, see, I, I told you guys I was gonna get lost in all these chests, oh, I guess I didn't, put it in there for some reason okay uh oh well i guess we do need tripwire hook beta we don't need it right now all right um i think we'll just stick with those all right so we're, i'm gonna show you guys yes yeah, so we're gonna make the uh the pizza oven now so you're gonna come into the kitchen you're gonna come to the left side you're gonna see where we have the fridge here right so you're gonna leave a gap of one and you're just gonna put two brick blocks coming out and then to the right and then extend back into there like so all right, and then just in the middle here, you want to put dig out the ground, put two campfires, put loom in there, uh, and that's going to kind of look like the grills and stuff. In front of it, you want to put two item frames and pumpkin pies. That's meant to be the pizza. 
All right, and then I think you want to do brick block, stairs, no, you want to do stairs going like into each other like that, the backs going into each other. And then uh, you want to have like uh, some, some blocks up here like that. And then you just want to have the blocks coming up like that. There you go, so that's how you make the pizza oven. And then you just kind of put two buttons on the sides just for decor, really doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so that's the pizza oven. Pretty cool, honestly. All right, so now we can just, uh, I suppose we should just grab everything, you know, that we need. As, at least as much as we can get, you know. Um, okay, yeah, of course we can't. It's always got to be that one material that you can't put back. Oh, okay, so I actually did have the stone button in here. Okay, that's weird. Not sure how I didn't see that. Okay, so now, um, okay, so let's start grabbing, like, cauldron, um, iron trap doors, uh, I suppose we can definitely grab polished andesite, smoker, uh, furnace, definitely. We can grab that, detector rails, um, definitely grab a composter. Uh, stone brick stairs, chains, uh, definitely some oak pressure plates. Cocoa beans, I think we should still get the item frames. Yeah, definitely item frames. Flower pot, uh, white carpet, white, yellow, red, and brown candles, as well as, I don't know if we need weighted pressure plates, I'm not sure. Uh, iron bars, definitely, we could use, um, oh yeah, chest, bookshelves, wherever that's at, we need bookshelves, bookshelves, and then barrels, um, and then, a uh, polished andesite, and then I think polished andesite slab, and we should be good, at least for now, I don't know where the polished andesite slab is, what the heck, uh, at least, I think I already grabbed, I didn't grab it yet, okay, no, okay, I guess I don't have it at all, that's so weird, I know I had it. Uh, okay, I'm looking for slab, and I'm in the stairs section. That that just proves how stupid I am. Okay. All right, yeah, so we'll just stick with those. I don't want to sit here grabbing materials. that uh, Most of them, I don't even know what I need. So, anyway, so you're going to come into the kitchen. We're going to go on the right side this time. You can see um, this wall here, obviously. You're going to leave a gap of one from the right, uh, from both sides of the wall. We're just going to go ahead and put these materials away for now. Uh, go ahead and grab your chest, bookshelf, and barrel. And then, I think it's just, what, like... Four bookshelves, yeah, no, three bookshelves, yes, you're going to three bookshelves on either side, leaving a gap of one from each end here, all right, and then three chests, uh, and then in the very middle, three, oop, not bookshelves, three barrels, that's what you want to have there, that's just like a big storage area, it's not really meant to be anything specific, all right, and then you can put these away, go ahead and grab your composter, a gap of one from this back door here, you want to put a composter, all right, and then now you can grab... Oh, we're also going to need a uh, lava bucket. I did not uh, have that in the chest, but you're going to need that, as well as um, cauldron and iron trap door, uh, stone brick stairs, as well as iron bars. So go ahead and grab all that. Um, so gap a one from the trash can, which is what this is, the composter. All right, two cauldrons with lava in it. Obviously, be very careful with the lava. <laughs> um, and then iron trap door on top, and then two stone brick stairs above it, and then uh, iron bars right there perfect all right and then obviously get rid of the bucket i don't know why they give you a bucket every time you pour it it's so annoying um anyways um let's see and then go ahead and grab your polished andesite stairs and slab all right so you're going to come to like this uh first button of the oven here you're going to kind of come out by one uh, i would recommend putting like a block because you're going to want to put in uh no you want to come out by two so so you want to come out by two with from where this button is right here, so one and two, and then you want to put the block here, and then put the upside down stair. Yeah, so there we go. That's how you want to do it. And then extend towards the back wall by two, and then uh, from the, with the slab, you want to extend out by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just like that. And then you just want to extend all the way forward, and then, um, oop, oh my gosh, I cannot do this right. Here we go. And then again, and then you just want to leave a gap of one from the slab, put a block, and then put uh, three upside down, polish stairs, just like that. So this is basically like a, a little center area for, um, you know, to prepare the food and stuff, which, you know, you guys have seen in the um, the original, ver uh, excuse me, the original, the original, uh, the original version of the oh, place. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm really gassy right now for some reason. Okay, so now you can put these three materials away. Uh, go ahead and grab your polished andesite, your um, smoker and furnace, your detector rail, um, your item frames, your cocoa beans, um, and then your... Yeah, and then... No, hold on. What am I trying to do here? Uh, oh, yeah, your stone brick stairs. Go ahead and grab iron bars and chain. Why not? All right. 
All right, so now what you're gonna want to do is so a gap of one from each of the door here. You want to just put in, uh, you want to put in a polished andesite block. Leave a gap of two from each polished andesite block, and then just put a row of polished andesite. In those gaps of two, on the left here, you want to put a smoker. On the right, you want to put a furnace. In this, underneath the smoker, if you want, you can actually put campfire. But I don't have campfires on me, so I'm not gonna do that. But that's definitely an option. Above the uh, above the smoker, here you want to put detector rails, and then at the very top here, you want to put stone brick stairs with iron bars coming down. You want to do the same thing above the furnaces, just like that. All right. Um, and then I believe in the middle. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe in the middle. Uh, and then on either side here, you actually want to do uh, oak pressure plates here. These are meant to be like cutting boards and stuff. Uh, so I think in the middle we had like a, there was like a little coffee area, which I'm just going to do that. I don't know if they actually sell coffee. I don't think they do, but it's just, mainly it's just meant to be a drinks area. So, so just, you know, leaving a, so just right beside the iron bars here, you're just going to put two item frames, uh, with the smoker and, or actually no, you want to just put one item frame. Sorry. You want to put a one item frame or no. Okay. So no, you want to put two item frames next to one of the bars. It really doesn't matter which one. And then, uh, a chain. Uh, at the top coming down from the uh, ceiling one block away from the stair here on this side Okay, and then uh, all right, and then with the candles which we can go ahead and grab um, With the candles you want to come to this table here or this little area. All right, you want to put um, some yellow candles uh, Red candles uh, brown candles and then white candles. So these are literally just meant to be like ketchup mustard mayonnaise barbecue sauce um, I highly doubt that Chuck E. Cheese actually has any of this stuff But again, I've never been so how would I know? <laughs> oh my gosh, seriously. I can't even delete a candle though Of course, okay, so now I have to repair that. Uh, okay, there we go. All right now the mustard So yeah, these are pretty good mustard ketchup sauce bottles basically I don't have to be specific all right, and then I think, um, hold on, how did we do this? Okay, go ahead and, oh, no, don't replace your item frame. Replace your cocoa beans with your flower pots. All right, so I know in the middle there's like, okay, so I think here and here, if you guys can see where I placed them, you want to put flower pots, and I think on the sides here we just kind of, oh, yeah, so on the sides we have the item frames, uh, and then we have, like, a bunch of flower. Did I grab white carpet? I did grab white carpet. Let's go. All right, so then here, 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 you want to put white carpet, and then in the middle here, you want to put an item frame. Um, yeah, and then I think, yeah, okay. So now we can just put these away. Go ahead and head into the fridge. Uh, if you have pick block, this will be easy for you, but then if you don't, then go to the chest and grab these things. Grab the bread, the beetroot soup, dried kelp, you know, all this fun stuff. All right, come to this table here. You want to come on this right side, you can kind of put the soup. The rabbit stew soup and then on this side you can put like dried kelp and the bread dried kelp and then in the middle here you want to put baked potato that's really just meant to be balled up dough and this flour is kind of meant to be like uh you know balling up the dough i think oh okay wait i think i did this wrong hold on so i guess it really doesn't matter but i think they're the white carpet's actually supposed to be in the middle and then there should be like uh two item frames here and then um baked potatoes but again it really doesn't matter it looks good either way so don't worry about that but yes yeah, so there's that uh we're gonna need more materials of course this kitchen has a lot of materials i suppose we should have done the manager's office first that would have been easier because you know like i said i'm trying to do the easiest stuff first um obviously i won't put the food back in here because i already grabbed all of it oh and of course the lava bucket we can get rid of too so we don't have to worry about any of that um okay um excuse me let's grab the let's keep the chest um just gonna go ahead and put all this other stuff away for now. Um, yes, yeah, so everything else we see we can just put away except for the chest. Uh, I don't know where. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and grab the um, right the spruce trap doors and then uh, oh yeah and then brewing stands. Uh, all right, we need black concrete uh, wherever black concrete is. This is annoying. I have to figure this out. This can't be like I should probably section materials off into like different. Yeah, I need to do that next time. Okay, so I have no black concrete, I don't think, because I'm glancing through all of this and I don't see any black concrete. Oh, never mind, it's right here, I'm stupid. Okay, black concrete, uh, a hopper, go ahead and grab andesite, go ahead and grab tripwire hook. Uh, item frames, wherever the item frames are, of course, I don't know where they are, I'm blind as heck. Um, or maybe not, maybe I'm just stupid. Okay, no, I could be stupid. Yep, there it is, it's right there, put it in the dumb spot, like I always do. Okay, and then... Um, I think we're gonna need no we don't need bookshelf okay yeah so iron trap door and then the cat 
graphy table, however you say that. Uh, cartography table, I don't know, fletching table. Just some random materials there. Uh, and then banner pattern, uh, wherever the pink dye went, no idea, there it is. Uh, oh no, not banner pattern, sorry, you need empty map, there we go. Yeah, the banner pattern's for toilet paper, we don't need that anymore. Um, and then I think, oh no, we need red and yellow, uh, not red and yellow, red and white concrete. Uh, no idea where the white concrete went, it's probably in some stupid chest. There it is, right there, of course it's in somewhere stupid. Uh, we can just grab that, alright. And then, uh, then I think that's, uh, oh no, and then we need birch signs as well. Go ahead and grab birch signs. Uh, and then I think that's it, yeah. Alright. Maybe there's other stuff, I'm sure there is. I don't really care right now, though. <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna come back into the kitchen. Alright, so you're gonna leave a gap of one from the fryers, and you're just gonna put three black concretes. And then a gap of one from that, you're gonna do polished andesite, hopper, and then polished andesite. Above the hopper, put a trip wire hook, and then put iron frames on both sides. Above all this, you want to just do uh, a row of uh, iron trap doors. All right, and then uh, also in uh, right above this black concrete here, you want to just do three trip wire hooks. All right, uh, and then um, where we have the cocoa beans here, you want to put two uh, brewing stands, and then underneath the chain here, you want to just put two spruce trap doors with a chest up top. Uh, and then I suppose, I guess in this little area, you can put, um, where is it? Sea pickles. Where are they at? Sea pickles. Oh gosh, yeah, sea pickles. Here we go. So then you can just kind of put like a bunch of sea pickles here, really. It doesn't matter. And then maybe a flower pot here. I don't know. This is just kind of a random storage area. It doesn't really matter what goes here. But yeah, so, um, oh, I suppose you could actually have this, uh, more like over, oops, this is a little difficult, but like over here, instead of like, uh, right next to the yeah see this looks a lot better I think yeah so it's not all up against this right here yeah it looks a lot better I think okay and then you can put all this away now uh, grab your carta cartography table fletching table empty map pink dye red and white concrete birch sign so right uh, above here you want to just put your tables that's what I'm gonna call them the tables uh, I should probably have this one. Oh, what is going on here oh that's so weird okay well whatever I don't care all right I don't know why it's not showing all the stuff but all right uh pink dye empty map of course and then above all this here you want to put red dye on both sides white concrete oh we should have grabbed the black carpet of course i forgot material and there's actually another material we forgot uh which i'll just go ahead and grab that now that'll be um polished blackstone button all right so birch signs on the concrete here these are just to label like the sodas and then of course black carpet to top it all off and then uh, blackstone buttons on all this is kind of meant to be like drawers and stuff. So, and yeah, um, and then another thing you can do in here, we'll go ahead and clear all this stuff. Uh, painting, um, you can kind of put a painting here. There's not a lot of places you can really put a painting in here, but you know, you can, you know, wherever you feel is necessary, put a painting. I would recommend it because then it makes the kitchen look less boring. It's like right here is honestly a really good place to put one. Really nice. Yeah, so that, and that's the whole kitchen, so yeah, really, um, you know, there really isn't too much in, well, there is quite a bit in here, but it really, you know, it really is easy to make. Alright, sorry, the door is giving me OCD, I gotta have all the doors closed, otherwise I have really bad OCD. Alright, um, and yeah, that's, that's the whole kitchen, so now we can work on, uh, the manager's office, so let's head back to the chests, um, assuming you're already there, but, you know, probably, probably not, I don't know. Alright, so we're just going to put all this back now. Uh, I'm sure not all of this is going to go in the chest. Oh, never mind, maybe. Yeah, not all of it will. Okay, I didn't think so. <laughs> Alright, so now what we'll need is... Gosh, if I can find it. Here we go. Uh, dark oak with stairs, dark oak trapdoor, dark oak with slab, polished blackstone stairs, bamboo, clock. Uh, oh, we're also going to need flower pot, wherever that is. There it is. Uh, as well as uh, polished andesite stairs and block. Uh, and then stone button, I believe, is in this chest. Yep. Stone button. Um, and then uh, I'll just go ahead and grab this, just so it's not, like, duplicated for some reason. <sighs> painting. Yes, we're going to need that painting. Um, gosh, what am I doing here? Um, trying to find... Oh, yeah. Uh, so smooth court stairs, uh, weighted pressure plate, um, bookshelf, definitely. Chest, wherever that's at. Chest. Um, and then I believe that's it. Could be wrong though. Um, yeah, no, 
banner, white banner, white banner. I think it's in this one. Yep, there it is right there. I think that's it. If we need anything else, we can come back and grab it. And of course, I just realized, uh, trap door. Um, yeah, here we go. Okay. Yeah, so we'll come back and grab anything else. Um, but yeah, so now we're going to go head into the manager's office. Oh, I suppose you could put a sign there, but I'm not going to do that right now. I don't care anymore. <laughs> All right, so right next to the door here, you can see in this corner here. Uh, well, actually, we won't worry about that right now. Okay, so actually in this corner, so if you're looking out the door this way, you're going to come onto this side, right? Right side, you want to put polished andesite and then polished andesite stairs. All right, and then you want to go ahead and grab uh, oak trap door or oak wood stairs, dark oak wood stairs to be specific. Leave a gap of three from where these are. This is going to be a printer, so three, uh, two blocks away from the printer, you want to put an upside down dark oak stair. Come forward by one, two, yeah, just two, I think. And then, yeah, just leave a gap of one and put another slab, and then go back by one, and then put an upside down oak wood stair. Put a trap door right here so that, you know, the manager can go in and out of the desk all right and then just back here you can kind of see where the middle block is here you know you can kind of tell where it is you want to put a uh, dark uh, black stone stair and then you want to put two black stone stairs one block away from each other right there just like that and then a uh, flower pot here in the corner with a bamboo sticking out of it i mean you can really you don't have to put bamboo you can put anything else you can put a flower <laughs> uh because not everyone's just gonna have a bamboo pot in their office so stone button painting smooth core stairs weight pressure plate bookshelf chest white banner iron trap door uh, we'll go ahead and finish the printer here. So stone button on the polished andesite block, as well as a white banner above it, and then iron trap door above the stair, and that's just your typical printer. Very simple. Um, and then on the side here, you want to put a chest, two bookshelves, extend up by two, and then that's pretty much, that's just a simple bookshelf. <laughs> All right, in front, of the man, in front of the manager's chair, you want to just put a, um, a, a right-facing a, a right stair, stone button, uh, and then weighted pressure plate on the side. Uh, and then a painting just on the computer screen, which is what that is right there. Um, 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 what else? Oh yeah, and then in the back here we want to put a painting. I don't know why I used chest for that, but whatever, it works. <laughs> uh, and then I suppose you can just kind of put a painting here as well. Just really, definitely put paintings anywhere that you see fits. And then grab an item frame, because I don't know why I told you guys not to grab... I think I cleared out the item frame, that wasn't very smart. <laughs> We're gonna need that. So yeah, clock in the right above the door. I mean that should have been easy. And that's it really, yeah. So that's the that's the I mean I suppose you can definitely put more stuff here. Um like maybe a conduit for like decor maybe, I don't know, something like that, and then maybe uh I don't know, a lantern, I don't know, just something to decorate the place. I don't know, just maybe you can put other stuff there. That's just that's just an idea, really. You can put whatever you want in here. It's really you know, there's all kinds of stuff you can do in here. Uh, and then the chest, uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to make Chucky's outfit. Uh, so basically what you're going to want to do is, so you're going to grab, first of all, we're going to grab um, iron boots, we're going to grab iron leggings, we're going to grab a dragon head, wherever that's at, I cannot find a dragon head. There it is, and right there, alright. Alright, we're going to need water, uh, we're going to need purple dye. Where's the purple dye? There it is. Okay, we're just gonna do this in here. Oh, and of course I didn't grab cauldron. That's stupid. All right, where are we gonna hold all the water? Am I right? Okay, so you wanna put cauldron, water, purple dye, and of course I forgot another thing. Wow, see, y'all see how bad I am at this? And then you wanna put the leather tunic, which is what you should have grabbed, uh, in there. All right, and then, yeah, and then you can just throw this all in the chest. This is Chucky's outfit, uh, like the Chucky one, the animatronics. This is like so one of the that's like so one of the employees can go around dressed as Chucky and you know high five the kids and whatever so and there you go so that's the manager's office um, very simple very cool and then of course oak sign uh, wherever that's at grab your oak sign and then just put right here write manager I'm not gonna write manager because I'm lazy but <laughs> and even above the kitchens if you want you can write employees only employees only right up there if you want to but. Uh, but yeah, other than that, that's that whole entire back part of the Chuck E. Cheese done. So yeah, believe it or not. So now it is time. Yes, believe it or not, it is time to make all of the machines and all of the fun stuff, which we're going to start with the prize counter, which is kind of the least fun. Well, I'm sure in an arcade is probably the most fun, but, um, uh, but yeah, so anyways, so you want to put, uh, so you want to grab purple concrete, lime con carpet, lime concrete, which is what I was going to say. Uh, and then all of the heads, every single head that you see. All right, we're going to 
throw all this stuff up here as well. Uh, you want to grab um, polished andesite stairs. You want to grab acacia sign. You want to grab the three fog frog lights. Sorry, not fog lights. Um, and then a chest, a warp trap door. Oh, I didn't grab zombie head. That's weird. Um, then grab grindstone bell, sea turtle egg, stone cutter. Uh, green glaze terracotta, sand glaze, you know, just any color, any colored care terracotta really doesn't matter. Uh, conduit, end rod, lightning rod, um, really just a bunch of random prizes, it doesn't matter uh, what ones they are. And I think we also need birch sign, oops, where's the birch sign? Birch sign, where can you be? Where can you, I'm sorry, that was really annoying. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't see it, we're gonna have to grab it, dang it. I hate when I have to grab something that, you know, could have easily been in the chest, but it was probably because of my dumb decisions. Anyways, uh, so once you have grabbed your uh, materials, you can come back into Chuck E. Cheese here. All right. Uh, oh, and I guess uh, you sh I guess I didn't tell you guys to do the jungle wood flooring yet. Okay, so grab jungle wood planks. We're going to start with that. So from the door here, like right here on the, at the wall here, you're just going to leave a gap of one, two, three, four, five, six. On the seventh block, you're going to dig out a block and place jungle wood and then extend down by one, two, three, four. You're going to dig out the blocks and um, place jungle. Extend over towards the back of the, uh, the restaurant. I'm just going to call this a restaurant by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. All right, so you're going to come back. By 17, again, dig out the blocks and then fill it up with uh, jungle and then just extend back to uh, the wall from the 17th block. And then, of course, dig out all the flooring and place the jungle wood. Once you've done that, uh, you want to then grab your purple concrete um, and then leave in a gap of one from this row of jungle. All right, you want to put a purple concrete gap of one, two purple concrete going down and then towards the other to the other side here. You want to do four. All right. Oh my gosh. All right. And then go ahead and dig out one, two, three, four, five, six, and then place one, two, three, four, five. Oops. Five purple. Go back by one. Gap of one. Back by one. And then just place lime concrete at the back here, just between the two purples on the on the ends there. All right. And now uh, you can get rid of these three materials for a bit. Um, go ahead and grab your three frog lights. Okay. Leaving a gap of one from one end, you want to dig out a uh, block, place one of the fog lights, or frog lights, doesn't matter. I'm just going to call them lights because I'm not tired of saying frog lights. Gap of two, frog light, 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 gap of two, frog light. Okay, I guess I was going to call them frog lights anyways. All right, until you make it to the very end, it should be even. Uh, of course, I would recommend placing different colors because, you know, it makes it look better. But yeah, once you've placed the frog lights... um. You want to grab your four andesite, or not andesite, your four, uh, I do not want to be wearing that right now. Uh, you want to grab your four uh, terracotta, your glazed terracotta, and then you just want to place them in here all randomized and whatever. It really doesn't matter. Um, these are meant to be just like the random prizes that you'd see like in the chest there, or in, not in the chest, but like in the case. Speaking of that, you want to grab white glass paint, or gla white glass block, sorry. And then you just want to put that above the terracotta like that. And then that's where you want to grab lime carpet and just put lime carpet. You want, you really want to put lime carpet on top of this whole thing, really. So just on top of everything here. Uh, of course, we're going to have to delete one of them to place the like cash registers, which we will do right now. So grab your birch sign. Uh, and I guess it really does. Yeah, so uh, a, a, a block away from where this case is here. Uh, oh, wow. That's not what I meant to place. There we go. And a sight stare with a sign on the back. The sign just kind of lets you know, you're, like it tells you your total. Uh, so again, Gappa 1 from the, uh, oh my gosh, I am failing at this. <laughs> uh, Gappa 1 from the case here, and then just a sign behind it. There you go, that's how you do that. And then, um, and then with your chest, uh, just in the corners here, that's where they can place the tickets. So you want to just put two large chests there. And then, uh, other than that, yeah, with your heads, uh, oops, not like that. You just want to, uh, put a bunch of heads here in the... Uh, in the uh, the back of the thing here, and then you want to do the same thing on the other side um, Just to really you know do that. All right, and then uh, um, Gosh what else? Oh, yeah, and then acacia sign you want to go ahead and put on the front here are these little uh, Cases here. All right. Uh, these are to let them know the prices I'm not gonna put all the prices down because that's gonna take forever but yeah, and then you just want to put acacia price uh, acacia prices what the heck acacia signs uh, in front of the green concrete here. So for each prize, it kind of lets you know like what the cost is. So 
yeah, really, uh, really useful, you know, when you're, you know, and let, well, obviously the cost comes down to like tickets, like how many tickets you would need for the prize. But yeah, so once you've done that, uh, go ahead and grab your iron trap door. I did not tell you to grab that. So grab iron trap door. You're going to need that. Put that uh, just like above here, just like so. Make sure that you can place something on the, make sure you can place stuff on the trap door. It's not like halfway up a block or something. All right, and uh, yeah, so once you've done that, uh, you can just grab like your sea turtle leg, um, and then your conduit. Uh, oh, and then you can grab your warp trap door, and then you can just put warp trap doors on the ends here. Obviously, these are for the employees to get in and out. Um, and then, and then yeah, just kind of grab like grindstone, lightning rod. It really doesn't matter. They're all meant to be like random prizes, so. Uh, here we go, a conduit, uh, oops, crinestone lightning rod, there you go. And then you just want to, uh, do the same thing, you just want to kind of add, you know, the prizes up here as well. Um, yeah, so it really, again, it does not matter, really, so, um, uh, yeah, so yeah, just keep, uh, keep adding all the prizes and stuff up here. Of course, uh, and then, um, you know, and then you just want to do the same thing on this side, you know, and all that, all that. Now, for some of these, I would recommend actually, like, putting, like, getting blocks and kind of stacking them and then, like, crouching and placing them onto the, you know, like, like definitely, like, the lightning rod, I'd definitely do that, um, you know, definitely, like, with the conduit and the sea turtle legs, you know, you definitely want to, you don't really want them hanging off the wall, it just really wouldn't look right, uh, unless you, unless you do want them hanging off the wall, I don't really care. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. So, hey, see, it's kind of tricky doing this, but, you know, once you get it, it's, uh, okay, you can only place one sea turtle leg on the trap door, which is weird, but... But yeah, you get the idea. Those are just meant to be random prizes. I'm sure you guys could, I definitely would recommend putting like different, some different items on here, you know, but I mean, definitely, you know, stick, I would definitely use these, but like use more of a variety is what I tried to, is what I was trying to say. Um, and yeah, and then, uh, oh, say, okay, so now we can put these materials away. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. All right, so uh, now we can grab a purple concrete, uh, which I think we already had that. <laughs> Uh, just go and grab purple concrete, uh, warp slab, and then you can go ahead and grab, uh, your banners that say prizes if you haven't made those already. Uh, if you, uh, have made those, uh, or if you haven't made those, uh, if you don't know how to make banner letters, I have a banner letter tutorial in the description box below so you can learn how to make banner letters if you don't know how. Um, but otherwise, if you've made them already, grab your banners, um, and then just above the prize counter, or like just above this little case here, you want to just mark like up in the ceiling here like this. All right, you just want to put one, two, three, four, literally just as long as this uh, prize case here, just like this. So just as long as the, the stained glass, right? All right, and then just um, below it, you want to put warp slab, and then you just want to start writing prizes. Yeah, so as you can see, the word is as long as the little case there. So, and there you go. There's the there's the prize counter completed. So yeah, that looks really good. Uh, and as an added detail, if you want, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and clear all this out. I'm gonna need that purple concrete again. Oof. <laughs> there's a few materials I still need. Um, what was I gonna? You know what? Never mind. Never mind. I don't. I don't. I didn't even have anything for the extra detail. Yeah, I'm sure you guys could add more detail if you want. It's kind of it's a bit basic. So definitely feel free to add more detail if you want. But. <sighs> but yeah, um, now we can make the token machines, um, which we're going to need that purple concrete that I just got rid of for no reason. There we go. Look how smart I am. All right. Um, oh gosh, where is it? Yeah, okay. And then white, uh, that's quartz. I did not ask for, I guess, I got, honestly, I think quartz would honestly be better. So we're going to grab quartz block. All right. We're going to grab just some sort of button. I don't know where it is. Buttons. And then item frames uh and then a uh here we go a golden nugget and then a dispenser wherever the dispensers are i have no idea where they're at oh oh did i just see it yes i saw it okay good all right so oh and then we're also gonna need the um pressure plate the weighted pressure plate where is that where did i put that i probably got rid of it because i'm an idiot yep i did okay <laughs> See, I am not very smart. Okay, so then, um, here we go. Pressure plate, and then finally, I think, yeah, and then, of course, uh, uh, you want to grab your the banners that say tokens. So we're going to put all these materials uh, that we haven't grabbed already. Well, the materials that are, like, that I didn't say to grab just now, we're going to put those away. All right, we're going to go ahead and grab the banners that say token. Oh, and, of course, I got rid of my E banner. I don't know why I did that. 
Uh, so I'm gonna have to get that from the uh, from the prizes. Here we go. All right. So on this wall here, just be just behind the uh, like the entryway here, you're gonna leave a gap of one. Put a quartz, gap of one quartz, gap of one quartz, and then just above that, you want to put purple concrete. And then on top of that, you want to put a uh, weighted pressure plate. Okay, actually, before you place your quartz, you want to dig into the ground uh, and place dispensers. Uh, you can place them face up, it really doesn't matter. Uh, and then, of course, you want to fill them with the tokens, but I won't do that right now because I don't have enough room. All right, you want to put item frames on front of the, in front of the purple blocks and then golden nuggets, all right? All right, and then you want to just grab um, all your banners, and then just above, like, uh, so literally just a gap of one from uh, each end here, you want to write tokens, so this just kind of lets you know where the tokens are. Uh, and there you go, so yeah. Um, and now we can grab, like, multiple golden nuggets here, so uh, one, two, three, and then we can grab this and that. All right, so yeah, grab, you know, just a bunch of golden nuggets, just place them into the dispensers, like so, and then uh, put quartz block, and then stone button, and then when you click the machine, or when you click the button, the golden nugget should just pop out like that. So very, very simple, no redstone needed, unlike some of the stuff in this place that requires redstone, especially the stage. The stage is going to be the most difficult, probably, so be just be prepared for that. <laughs> uh, be prepared for how difficult that'll be. So, uh, alrighty, so now... So yeah, now we can, uh, all right, I'd say we work on that little ride-on car thing, or not ride-on car thing, but like, I don't know, you guys know, I think, uh, okay, so, yellow concrete, uh, dispenser, um, red concrete, wherever that's at, I probably got rid of that too, because I'm not very smart, yep, I did, yes, it was super typical of me, okay, Red concrete, uh, we're also gonna need, where are the rails at? Okay, here we go, rail, powered rail, minecart, lever, and that's it, I think. Yeah, that's pretty much, yeah, that's it. Okay, very, very simple. So now, okay, so just, uh, so from this middle machine here, you're gonna leave a gap of one, two, three, then you're gonna put a red concrete on either side, yellow concrete, and then from there, red concrete, um, and then yellow concrete in the middle, extend up by one, and then at the end here, you want to do red and then yellow on both sides, just like that. On the very top here, you want to put a lever, all right? On the red blocks, you want to put powered rail, all right? And then in the corners, you want to put the regular rail. Uh, because for some reason, the powered rails don't turn like the regular rail does. That's kind of annoying, but... And then, of course, you just want to put, like... I, I would say do three minecarts at most. I wouldn't do four. It just seems a little too crowded. Oh, and then, of course, you want to put a dispenser under here, so... Make sure you don't forget that. That's kind of just, you know, for the pride, the tokens or whatever. And yeah, now you can turn this on and then it actually, uh, and then it actually works. And yeah, it takes a little bit to get going, but once you get it going, it should be, uh, oh my gosh. I mean, you guys saw in the beginning how it works. So, uh, yeah, it, get, it gets kind of clustered like this, but once you, uh, yeah, once you kind of, there you go, there we go. See, it takes a while, but once you get it going, it'll work. And then of course, switch it off and then they stop. So there you go. So that's the little roller coaster ride thing. I think that, or not roller coaster ride, but you know what I, you know what I mean. That weird ride thing. I don't know what it is, but. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, and then uh, next, I will not put stuff in that chest. What the heck is going on here? All right, start putting stuff away. Let me adjust myself. Ugh, cause I'm like slopped over. I'm all weird looking. My foot is hurting. Ah, I'm sure you heard my ankle pop there. That's how bad it hurts. All right, next. Thing. Next thing. What are we doing? Okay, let's go ahead and do the zombie snatcher. So we're gonna need a zombie head. We're gonna need. Um, I think it's in this chest, right? Uh, no, it's in this chest. That's weird. Redstone lamp. We're gonna need uh, lime stained glass, lime concrete, or no, no, not lime concrete. Sorry, we need light blue concrete. That's what we need. And then crimson button, warped button. Uh, mangrove button and then wherever the uh, there we go wherever the acacia button is and then of course we're gonna need redstone and then dispensers where's the dispenser I know I put it somewhere stupid because I always do okay here we go dispenser and then we're also gonna need a uh, dark green carpet I know I grabbed that right I know that's somewhere in here dark green carpet there you go you're gonna need that and then you're also gonna need um, tickets so 
aka name tags. So I would grab four, like 64 of like each um, bunch of tickets here, just like that. All right, so now we're gonna come into here. Oh, and I suppose you also need, uh, uh, oh, never mind, you don't need anything else. Okay. Okay, y'all, with these uh, materials, you're just gonna come uh, in like, so, okay, so from this right, um, light, uh, light, um, what am I trying to say? This right, just right here, just right here. You guys can see where I'm at, right here. You wanna leave a gap of one and two. All right, uh, and then you just wanna place, uh, Oh no, you wanna dig out, uh, no. Okay, so from this right part here, you wanna leave a gap of one, and then you wanna dig, all right? You wanna dig one, and then two, all right? And then uh, dig out both sides like that. No, don't dig out both sides like that. Do two, and then dig out both sides like that, all right? And so yeah, dig out three, and then dig out seven like that, and then dig out three again, and then dig out by two like that, all right? Just like that, so that's kinda, that's basically how you want it to look. All right, and then I believe, yeah, okay, you just stick with that, all righty. Next, with your uh, redstone dust, you just wanna come, uh, you wanna leave, or actually, before we put redstone dust, uh, you wanna grab your dispenser, put dispensers all face up at the ends here like so, all right, and then you just wanna do uh, redstone dust, uh, all basically connecting to the very middle, like so. Delete the middle block and place, oops, why did I get rid of that? I literally need it. Two redstone lamps going up like so. All right, and then you just wanna put light blue concrete around it, like so. All right, and then uh, you can go ahead and uh, remove the dispenser, grab zombie head, put the zombie head on top of the redstone lamp, and then just put lime stained glass around it, like so, uh, and then you can get rid of the zombie head. Green carpet, put green carpet on top of everything, on here, like so, oops. And then before you uh, cover the dispensers, uh, actually, yeah, before we do that, yeah, before, we, okay, grab uh, like four sets of name tags, all right, and you wanna put them in each dispenser, these are of course tickets. Yeah, you're gonna need a lot of name tags for this uh, for this build, so for this whole entire place, honestly. So, yeah. So in each dispenser, all right, and then grab your light blue concrete and your dark green carpet. You want to put two light blues coming out like so. All right, and then or no, not not two. You only want to do one. Sorry, you don't want to put two. You want to put one. Sorry. Yeah, so you only want one light blue coming out, not two. And then you actually want to cover everything else with lime, or not with lime, but with dark green carpet. Like so, you just want to kind of wrap it around like this. Um, yeah, just like so, and then it just covers up the dispensers. It is kind of weird, it kind of looks dumb, but that's just how it's going to have to be. And then finally, put different colored buttons uh, all around the machine here. And there you go, that's Zombie Snatcher. So just a simple test, make sure it works. So you press the button, the zombie lights up, and then it gives you a ticket. So, so yeah, and that's Zombie Snatcher. So yeah, I mean, it's uh, kind of lame, you know, it doesn't really do much. Definitely not the greatest machine in the whole arcade, but it's still pretty cool. So, uh, but yeah, there you go, Zombie Snatcher. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do this uh, bumper car ride, um, which is not really cars more boats, but still, I mean, bumper boats, bumper cars, same thing, am I right? <laughs> All right, anyway, so you're gonna grab, you're gonna grab blue ice, I mean, that's a simple thing, uh, birch fence gate, uh, mangrove boat, acacia boat, um, and then you're gonna need, uh, oh my gosh, where's the blue concrete, there it is, blue concrete, and then light blue stained glass pane, all right, and then you're just gonna come inside, all right, and then from this very corner right here, this very corner wood uh, plank here, you're just gonna leave a gap of one, and then put a dark blue, and then extend to the right by one, two, three, four, five. From that first block you place, you wanna go down by one, two, three, gap of one, one, and then extend to the right by one, two, three, four, five, then extend up by three, just like that. And then everything else in here you wanna dig out and then just place blue ice in it. All right, uh, just like so. Uh, oh, and then of course on top of all the, um, the blue concrete you wanna place light blue glass just like so all right and then you want to place a uh, fence gate in here and then you just want to place the two boats so mangrove boat and acacia oh wow that wow okay i don't know how that happened <laughs> there we go all right yeah definitely don't do what i did 
which I don't know how I did it, but, and then, yeah, there you go. There's your bumper boat ride. It's kind of tight, but I mean, it still works. I mean, you can, it's obviously a lot better with two people in here, but yeah, you kind of just go around, bump each other, kill each other. I don't know, whatever you want to do. <laughs> and yeah, there's the bumper boat ride. So now, uh, I suppose we should make the, uh, little basketball machines next. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So, um, okay. I'm just going to start putting stuff back in here. I don't really care where it all goes anymore. Okay, here we go. I think I found the chest where everything's at. Okay, so you need orange concrete. You're going to need um, hopper, orange shulker box, black stained glass pane. Uh, oh, and you're also going to need mangrove slabs, spider web. Um, and then what else are you going to need? You're going to need the heart of the sea, uh, wherever that went. I don't know where I put that. Um, gee, it's going to take me at least 100 years to find. I'm sure I just saw it. Oh my gosh, am I this blind? What the heck? Where did I, where's the heart of the sea? Did I not grab it? I don't think I grabbed it. I'm probably just... Okay, there it is. All right, just grab that. Alrighty, so now, with your orange concrete, uh, you're going to come to this very block here, so you can kind of see where I'm at, this very block here. All right, you're going to leave a gap of three going towards the back of the restaurant, and then you're just going to place an orange concrete and then extend to the right by two. And then uh, you actually want this to be uh, an orange shulker box. Um, yeah, you want to extend this orange concrete back by three, left by two, down by two, and then in the corner here you just want an orange shulker box because that's where you're going to put the the ball when you're done. So, all right. And then inside here you actually want to go ahead and dig one block down and then one block right and then, um, yeah, dig out the entire inside and then just keep going back until you reach that block right there. All right. Oh, and we should have grabbed a, a mangrove butt, or yeah, like mangrove button, as well, and go ahead and put that on the right side there. And we should have also grabbed a dispenser. I don't know how we haven't. I don't know how I didn't grab any of that. So, all right. So you're gonna want to delete this block here, put a dispenser, and then um, place the orange concrete. Go ahead and actually dig out this entire part here, and then just um, yeah, you want so. All right, so yeah, and then just start, you know, having the hoppers connecting to the, um, the, uh, yeah, so you can kind of, so you can easily see where I'm placing the hoppers. You want them all to connect to the dispenser so that when you drop the ball, it goes into here and then it leads to the dispenser and then you can pick it up. So, and then, yeah, once you've done that, cover it all up except for this middle hopper, of course, with the, uh, orange concrete. And then at the back here, you just want to put two, I think it's two orange concrete. Yeah, two orange concrete. And then a uh, spider web, and then a mangrove slab there, and then of course you want to just put um, a black stained glass on the sides here, like so. And there you go. There's just a simple little basketball game. So, um, so yeah, with your heart of the sea, just yeet it, score a goal, and then it should. Oh, and of course it. Oh, well that's weird. It went out the side. Huh? How did I? How did I fix this issue? Oh, maybe it's because uh, it shouldn't be face up. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, so maybe try not having it face up. Again, this is going to be a bit tricky because I don't remember any of these mechanisms. So um, I'm going to have to go, I'm, I'm gonna have to go into the original and like tear it up. So let's try this again. So you score a goal. I don't know why I picked block the spider web. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, this is seriously annoying me. Okay. Oh, wait. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. I think I have. I think I know why it's not working because maybe the dispenser is supposed to be here and then a uh, hopper. Yeah, okay, let's try that. Oh, wait, but then that's in the ground. Okay, yeah, no, that's okay. <sighs> Hang on, guys. Okay, y'all, so as it turns out, the mechanism for this that I had, uh, for some reason, isn't working anymore. So the way you want to do this, uh, so build a machine like normal, but for the mechanism, uh, you want the machine, like, or not the machine, you want the dispenser to be facing towards the left. Uh, oops, not like that. You want it face, like, oh my gosh, why is this not working? Okay, this is seriously annoying. Like that, okay, you want it facing towards the left. All right, and I don't know, let's see if this works. All right, I'm just gonna put a random material in there. And hopefully, and of course, I, I swear, it's because I'm recording, isn't it, right? Yeah, that's, that's why it's not working. Cause, oh, it's not, oh, weird, it's not even like coming out, what the heck? Oh, okay, well that, oh, now it decides to come out. Okay, well that's dumb. All right, uh, Oh, there we go. Okay, so now it works. Okay, it's because I wasn't, because the wall wasn't filled in all the way. Okay, so, okay, okay. So, again, we're going to grab our nether quartz. 
or not another quartz, I'm so dumb. The heart of the sea, you're gonna throw that in there, pretend to score a goal, and then just press the button. And there you go, okay, yeah. So I don't know why the other mechanism wasn't working. I had to change the mechanism. It was only just the direction of the dispenser, but still. Okay, so let's go over this again. So you're gonna leave a gap of one. You're basically just gonna put a row of orange concrete as, as big as the other one. You're gonna extend back here by two. You're gonna completely dig out everything else, uh, except for this middle part, you can go ahead and put that there. Uh, and then uh, on the corner here put a shulker box all right, and then I don't know why I don't have hopper, but uh, And then oh, yeah, and then you want to put two rows of orange concrete back here You want to put uh, mangrove slab spider web uh, and then just some glass pane All right, and then in here You want to put a dispenser again facing towards the left make sure it's not face up like that You want to make sure it's still face down well not face down, but you want it facing towards the left side all right, and then you want to have hoppers. Uh, make sure the ground is completely filled just to be extra safe. All right, and then you want uh, hoppers uh, just like completely leading in. Uh, so this next one's gonna be kind of hard to place, but you kind of want it like that. There we go. And then, oh yeah, this next one are probably gonna have to be like up here or something, but uh, there we go. All right, and then the inside there, you want to put that. There we go, all right, and then a button there and then glass on this side. All right, and just to test to make sure it works, uh, where, where the heck is the, did I put it back or something? Oh yeah, I did. Okay, that's weird. Alright, so yeah, heart of the sea, alright, you, uh, score a goal, and then eventually it'll go, and then boom, there you go. Alright, so there you go, that's how you make the basketball machines. So, yeah, I apologize that that was not working, I did not expect it to be, I don't know, did not expect it to not work like that. But yeah, there we go, so, uh, there's that done, alright, so you can see we're making pretty good progress with this, uh, Chuck E. Cheese. All right, so now we're just gonna throw everything away, or not throw everything away, we're just gonna put everything away. All right, uh, okay, that chest is full. All right, here we go. Just start putting stuff away now. All right, we're gonna make the ticket blaster now, so what we're gonna need, oh, I don't know why. It, okay, there we go. You're gonna want yellow stained glass, purple concrete, uh, red carpet, which I know I just threw in here. Here we go, I don't know why I have it in the first place. Uh, red carpet, um, dispenser, and then like a uh, main, or no, you need crimson, Pressure plate, and then of course, uh, what else? Um, why do not I don't have? Oh yeah, because I don't think I grabbed them at all. So, and then you're gonna need a bunch of name tags, uh, wherever that's at. There we go. All right, so come back into Chuck E. Cheese, right? Okay, so. All right, so from this very middle block here, this middle red block on this car right here, you want to leave a gap of four. And you want to put a yellow, uh, two yellow stained glass going up behind that, two yellow stained glass, then purple concrete extend to the other side here by two, and then two yellow con or two yellow glass coming out. Oh wow, I did that completely bad. There we go, just like that. Uh, oh, I think you need to do it up by three actually. Yeah, I think it's by th no, not by three. Okay, no, not by three. And then I think the top of it is uh, how is the top of it done? I have no idea. How did I do the top of this thing? I think it's white concrete, isn't it? No, it's red. It's red, it's red, it's red, I think, yeah. Yeah, it's red concrete. Okay, so you're gonna need, and then top it all off with red concrete like this. There we go, see, yeah, that looks, that definitely, uh, yeah, that looks better. All right, so there's that, all right. And then in here, you just wanna put a dispenser, uh, fill it up with the tickets, and then you just wanna stick a pressure plate on top. Oh, and there you go, I already did it. All right, and literally it's that simple. Literally, uh, you can even write Ticket Blaster like with a sign up here, but yeah, that's that's the Ticket Blaster. Really kind of lame, but you know, whatever. I could, I did the best I could, you know, with Minecraft. Uh, okay, and then I think the red carpet is just to top this off. It's kind of pointless, but I mean, if you want to. Oh, I guess, oh yeah, because I guess there is a light in here, so you know, if you want it to be a little brighter in here, you can. Uh, I would use like a colored light, like maybe one of these frog lights. I prefer probably this one. Oh yeah, there we go. So yeah, that's, I think that's what the yeah, so that's what the red carpet was for for the lights. There we go, and there you go. That's how you make the ticket blaster. Very, very, very simple. All right. So now I think we'll go ahead and work on the dance floor here. So let's get that done. That's a pretty fun one. Uh, this one's also really simple, so it really doesn't require too many things. I don't think yeah, it really doesn't require too much. I don't think so. All right, so you're gonna need every single pressure plate that you can get, except for the white one, of course. You don't wanna grab that one, that one's kinda lame. All right, um, grab note block, and then grab yourself some, I think that's about it. <laughs> no, wow, I can't believe I forgot. Wow, no, that's not it. You need redstone lamp. Um, 
And they need painting. Painting, painting, painting. Where the heck did I put the paintings at? Oh, uh, gosh, I have no idea. I'm blind. Ugh. Okay, I'm just gonna just gonna grab a whole new one because I don't think I have it. I'm probably just blind. But painting. All right, and then uh, and then you need some sort of fence. I'm not sure where it's at though. Here we go. Yeah, mangrove fence, and I think uh, mangrove. Is there a mangrove block that I need? Hang on, I'm actually just gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna head into the other one real quick because I have no idea. Oh, right, okay, so you need the lights, okay. Okay, well first we need the uh, trap doors. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab it. I don't feel like looking anymore. So mangrove trap doors, and then all of the frog lights that you see. So any of the frog lights, go ahead and grab all for the frog lights, all right? So there you go. And then also you're going to need yourself uh, some, I think this is, what is this? Uh, yeah, blue terracotta. Grab yourself some blue terracotta, all right? So with your blue terracotta, you're going to come to the edge of this bas basketball machine here. Sorry about my voice, but you're going to leave a gap of three. And then you're just going to dig out one, two, three, four, five, six, and then place your blue terracotta. On each end here, you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, dig down by five and put the blue terracotta and then connect at the bottom with the blue terracotta obviously dig it out first all right and then dig out the middle alrighty and then uh and then you just want to place um redstone lamps all up in here all right and then um and then what you want to do is you want to put in, uh actually no i think the note blocks are in the corners right yeah so then you want to put no yeah you want to put note oh wow okay yeah never mind you don't want to do that okay yeah, never mind. Okay, I'm doing this wrong. I just realized. All right. Yeah, so no, I was doing it right originally. So, um, why the heck do I not have it? Okay. Yeah, so you actually, yeah, in the corners here is where you want to put, uh, yeah, is where you want to put the note blocks. And then everywhere else is where you want to start putting, like, uh, I don't know, just random, just basically just random colored, uh, pressure plates here. So it really doesn't matter which ones you kind of put, but, you know, make sure they're, uh, you know, Oh, I forgot about the mangrove ones. Okay, we can easily put those. Definitely. Uh, okay, and then that, and then that. All right. And there you go. So basically what this does is that it lights up and plays music. So that's what it does. I would actually recommend uh, doing like different notes for each of the note blocks so that they all don't sound the same. Uh, so then this one can be like really, really high. All right, yeah, so there you go. So then you actually have like, it actually plays like different kinds of music. So... There you go. And then it lights up, does whatever, so. All right, and then just at the ceiling here, you see the two middle blocks on each, on this side here. You kind of want to uh, line it up here with the ceiling here. And then where you've lined it up, you want to put the fence here. So you want to have, like, right where the two middle blocks here, uh, you want to put fence up here. All right, or no. No, that's not what you want. Okay, you can actually get rid of these pressure plates and grab the, the frog lights. No, you actually want to do uh, frog lights. Sorry, that's where you act. That's what you actually want to do. You want to put the fence behind the frog lights. Okay, and then trap door underneath. All right, and then a painting. So these are meant to be the little TVs uh, on either side. So yeah, and then over here again, two middle blocks. Line them up with the ceiling. Uh, put a frog light. Um, I would do different colors, obviously. Uh, so yeah, frog lights, like I said, um, and then trap door painting. And then right back here, and then same thing on this side. <sighs> you know, frog lights up here. These frog lights honestly look kind of nasty. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, and then just fence, uh, trap door, painting, and then same thing on this side. You want to do uh, frog lights like so. All right, and there we go. So very very simple. Um, and yes, yeah, so this dance floor is pretty pretty fun to mess around with so yeah so that's the entire dance floor done again it you know lights up plays music so pretty cool uh and then of course it's got the tvs right there as well all right so yeah you guys can see we've done a pretty big majority of uh the place so good job y'all but anyways yeah so now actually while we have the paintings uh you can kind of start putting paintings on the wall except for between the two kitchen doors you do not want to put paintings there because that's where we're going to put the tubes for like the tube playground. So don't do that. But everywhere else on the walls here that don't have anything on them, you can put a bunch of paintings. I would honestly recommend it because these walls are really, really plain without them. Uh, so like on this wall here, you can put a painting. I'd recommend putting two paintings actually since they're uh, one by one, you know, just make them, that make them even. Uh, right here would be a good spot. Just put a, oh, not that. There we go. One by one painting. 
Um, again, not between the kitchen doors, but everywhere else. Uh, I think you can just go ahead and stick a bunch of... Yeah, okay, here we go. I guess it really doesn't matter, but... Oh, wow. What? Imagine I just get all those paintings in a row. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, there we go. So yeah, and then obviously not back here. Not back here, because that's where the stage is going to be, and there's going to be a big black wall there, so. But yeah, so there you go. So just along that back, just this back area, you can just put some paintings, makes it look better. This could be, those could be like advertisements in Chuck E. Cheese. I don't know if they actually have any advertisements, but. Alright, so there we go. Alright, next, uh, let's do the clock ride. That'll probably be another easy thing to do. This one require, doesn't require a, a funky mechanism, thankfully. So we don't have to worry about that. So that's good, at least for me, because I don't like having to deal with that. But there's still a bunch of other stuff that requires it. Um, okay. All right. Now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need... Okay, we're going to have to grab... I think it's all in here. Okay, yeah, we're going to need uh, andesite wall. You're going to need uh, iron bars. You're going to need rail. Did I... Didn't I just see rail? No, I didn't. Uh, yeah, rail, minecart. Uh, you're going to need... Um, and I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it, honestly. Okay, no, that's not it. I'm, I'm stupid. Hang on. Uh, item frame. Where's the item frame? I think I saw it, right? Uh, yeah, right here. Okay, item frame, clock. I probably got rid of that because I'm stupid. No, but we need the bell. The bell is something we need for sure. Okay, we need the bell. Uh, oh, yeah, we need the warped trap doors. We need the yellow concrete. And then I believe... Where's the clock? I know I had the clock for the manager's office, but I, I think I, yeah, I got rid of it. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. Uh, so yeah, grab a clock, and then, yeah, I think that's about... Oh, no, wait, then you need, um, black stone stairs. Where's those at? There we go, black stone stairs. Alrighty, and once you've grabbed all those materials, you can come over here. So come to the dance floor, you're gonna come. So you're gonna come to this very bottom corner here, you guys can kind of see, hopefully you guys can see where I'm at. You're gonna come up by one, two, three and then go right by one, two, three, and then where you just landed, you wanna put in andesite wall, um, leave a gap of one, put a random block, and then uh, grab um, grab your polished blackstone stairs, put an upside down polished blackstone stairs facing the andesite wall, all right, and then, um, and then I believe, um, yeah, okay, and then, you just want to put a rail, all right, and then you want to put a mine cart right here, all right, and then, uh, all right, and then you just want to, like, hang on, I think you want to, like, quickly delete and place the, so quickly delete the rail and place the uh, carpet underneath it, all right, so that it doesn't, you know, just before it falls through. Okay, why do I not have, uh, okay, yeah, there's another thing that I forgot to, to grab. Uh, we need spruce trap doors, right? All right, so we need spruce trap doors. Put spruce trap doors around the mine cart so that it doesn't roll away. Uh, that's going to be pretty important. And then, of course, do a quick test, make sure the mine cart stayed in place. All right, and then I think, yeah, and then, all right, and then on top of the andesite wall, you're going to need a bell, and then, and then I think it's just the yellow concrete after that, right? Yeah, so I think it's just... Yellow concrete, all right, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Yellow concrete, there we go. Put two yellow concrete coming out. Uh, all right, and then grab your iron bars, put iron bars on the left side and extend down. And then on the right side here, you wanna put item frame with a clock in it. And then just around the yellow concrete here, you wanna put warped trap doors. Uh, you, can, you don't have to put it around the back, uh, but just around the sides here, basically. And that's it, yeah, okay, there we go. So that's how you make that's how you make the clock ride. This actually looks pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, it kind of looks like you're kind of riding in it. You can't actually ride in it, but yeah, I think this looks pretty cool nonetheless. Um, of course, if you, uh, of course, make sure all this is cleared out. But yeah, there we go. So yeah, once you've done, um, once you've done that, that's the clock ride. So now we can make this little car ride here. So that's like the last thing in this area. So um, I would keep uh, definitely keep the minecart and the rail. Don't get rid of those and the item frames. Uh, don't get rid of those either. There's a lot of stuff we still have to. Uh, there's still a lot of stuff to get. So, alrighty. So okay. So I know for sure we're gonna need cyan concrete wherever that's at. Uh, here we go. Cyan concrete. You're also gonna need. Uh, oh, that's light blue concrete. Oh well. Uh, gosh, where's cyan concrete? I know I didn't use it yet. At least I don't think I did. Oh, I think I actually did already. Okay, well, or I guess I didn't grab it for some reason. 
All right, so cyan concrete, you're also going to need uh, red concrete. Uh, oh my gosh, where's the black concrete? My goodness. Here we go, black concrete. Uh, okay, and then stone button. Oh, why the heck did I do that? Okay, stone button. Uh, okay, and then you need the uh, glow item frame specifically. And I'll explain why. Ladders. Uh, and then white glass pane, wherever that's at. I have no idea. Gla white glass pane, white glass pane, white glass pane. I think it's at the very end here. Yeah, there it is. White glass pane. Uh, and then you're going to need a music disc, a block of redstone. Uh, and then you're also going to need um, a dispenser, wherever that's at. And then quartz stairs. Oh my gosh, guys. I do not like this tutorial. I'm sure you guys don't either. <laughs> Okay, dispenser, quartz stairs. Of course, I have no idea where the quartz stairs are. I'm sure I got rid of them. I think I did, actually. Dang, yeah. So I'm going to have to grab those. All right, so quartz stairs. Um, oh, yeah, and then uh, levers. We're going to need levers. And then the black skeleton skull, the wither skeleton skull, whatever you want to call it. There it is. Um, and then I think mangrove slab as well, if I can find it um there it is found it all right we're just gonna stick with those for now i'll grab everything else later i don't feel like getting everything right now all right so from the zombie snatcher game you want to come to this option right here this little area uh so from the green carpet you want to leave a gap of one and then just uh or actually you want to leave a gap of two and then just place three cyan concrete like that and then extend back by one two three just like that and then next you want to place red concrete Excuse me, red concrete on top, just like this. All right, leaving a gap of one from each end, you want to dig out a block, uh, and you want to do this on both sides. Leaving a gap of one on each end, you want to place uh, black concrete with uh, stone buttons in front of it. In the front here, you want to do a uh, ladder with uh, glow item frames on either side, and then on the back here, you want to do just regular item frames, uh, and then you just leave it at that. All right, in the middle here, go ahead and just dig out the very middle of this car like so. All right, so you just the entire middle of the car is just gone. All right, um, and then you can uh, go ahead and put your rail uh, and your mine cart in here. Um, I think you want to go ahead, yeah, grab your mangrove slab. Uh, go ahead and put that on both sides. All right, uh, so that the cart, the mine cart, doesn't like fly off the track or something. Alright, and then uh, white stained glass pane, and then you're also going to need your music disc as well as a uh, block of redstone. Alright, so, so on the top here, the top row here, you just want to put white stained glass pane. At the back here, you want to put a uh, mangrove slab that's meant to be like a roof that's folded down. Alrighty, um, and then I believe, what were we going to use this for? Oh yeah, the smooth quartz stairs. Which actually, instead of mangrove slab on the sides, go ahead and put smooth quartz slab on the sides. I just think it'll look better. Because, I don't know, I don't like the mangrove slab matching with the mangrove slab. Here. There we go, yeah, I think this looks honestly a lot better. Alright, and then you want to put quartz stairs um, on each side here, like so. Alright, oh, and then with your red block of redstone, you just want to put these in the item frames here for tail lights. Alrighty, uh, and then uh, you want to put a dispenser. Uh, on either side of this on each side of the stair here. That's just for tickets. It doesn't actually do anything, but all right And then uh, behind the window here you want to put an item frame with a disc in it for a steering wheel all right, uh, and then uh, And then what do we need to do so grab lever oops? That's not what I meant to do grab lever and a wither skeleton skull and then on each side here You just want to put uh, like a random block like this Wither skeleton skulls facing into the car like so. All right, and then of course levers underneath. These are uh, mirrors, as you know, if you've seen my car tutorials, that's how I do mirrors. And then as an option, uh, I would honestly recommend this. Put uh, red carpet on top of everything here. Uh, just really kind of adds to it. I don't know why. I guess it finishes it off for some reason. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and dig out the red underneath here because I had marked this for the tutorial. And then, uh, also, I would recommend grabbing, um, like, a birch sign or something and just putting it between the taillights here for a license plate that could say, like, Chuck E. Cheese or something. Alrighty, and then the next thing you want to do is you want to grab an item frame, uh, or not an item frame, you want to grab an armor stand. You want to put an armor stand in the back here. This is going to be for the animatronics. I would have it to where he's, like, grabbing onto the kid here, kind of like, uh, like that, there we go. Kind of looks like he's, you know, cheering or whatever. 
All right, and then you want to just make Chucky. So uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys. Hopefully, you guys saved his outfit. But but yeah, here's uh here's uh oops here's uh here's Chucky, Chucky's outfit. So you can put that uh you can put Chucky in the car like as if he's like riding in the car or something. There we go. Uh, this may be a little bit uh yeah this seems a little bit much. I don't know if you would want to. I don't know. But yeah, that's just uh, that's just like a ride-on car, basically, you know. So, really nothing special. But yeah, so there's that um, right there, and that is pretty much the whole front of Chuck E. Cheese completed. The entire front of the place, uh, or not the entire front of the place, but this entire side of the place completed. So, good job making it this far. I mean, you've made a lot already. So, like this place is already looking really fun, really really fun looking place. So yeah. So now we gotta start. Now we gotta make some more uh, arcade machines. I think these are the last arcade machines we have to make, really. So, uh, so you know, good for you. Um, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, once you've done everything there. Um, oh, I forgot to put the boots on Chucky. Hang on. Let me do that real quick. Sorry, I have OCD. He has to have his boots on, otherwise I get mad. Um, oh, never mind. He already has them. All right, sorry. I don't know how I have extra boots then. I guess those were. I guess those were just already in here. I guess. All right, never mind. All right. So now uh, I want you guys to grab a uh, red, orange, yellow, green, and blue concrete. So, so orange, green. Oh, and purple. You want to grab purple too? I'd grab purple as well. Uh, I'm, I want to do light blue. Um, li I already grabbed lime. Yellow, red. So red, orange, yellow, green. Uh, we need light blue. Where's that at? I think I got rid of it. Maybe. I don't know. Oh no, it's up here. Okay, there we go. So yeah, oh, and also, not only do you want to grab those, but you also want to grab a uh, redstone lamp, where I'm sure I put that in a stupid spot. <laughs> oh, gosh, I really should organize my materials. This sucks. Okay, there we go, redstone lamp, and then you want to grab a stone button, and then you also want to grab redstone. Uh, oh, yeah, go ahead and grab tickets as well, but I won't grab those because I need more than that. Oh, uh, yeah, grab dispensers, uh, grab redstone, definitely... Um, all right, and now where on earth is the, oh gosh, where is it at? Uh, gosh, guys, I literally forgot. Okay, no, never mind. Okay, so now grab red, orange, yellow, green, and blue carpets as well. All right, um, and then, sorry, I know I'm wasting so much time right now. Orange, uh, yellow, uh, oh yeah, red, oh so yeah, so red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and then where's the purple carpet? I have no idea where that went. I know it's in here somewhere. Come on now, where is it at? I know, I must have skipped it. There it is, right there. Alright, and then of course painting. We're gonna need painting as well, and I think that's actually it. Yeah, that looks to be about everything. So, yeah, so these are just for the simple little arcade machines. It really doesn't, uh, okay, so... Literally, so from the ticket blaster, you want to leave a gap of two, uh, dig out two, gap of two, dig out two, or sorry, not gap of two, gap of one, sorry. So gap of two from the ticket machine, uh, all right, or ticket blaster, whatever you want to call it. All right, dig out two, gap of one, 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 dig out two. And there should be a total of six machines, or six gaps, basically. All right, and then um, you want to do uh, redstone. I don't think you actually need redstone. I think it's just redstone lamp. So two redstone. No, no, actually it is redstone. Sorry, you want to do redstone and then redstone lamp on top. So redstone dust, redstone. Oh, not dispenser. Sorry, redstone lamp, redstone dust, redstone lamp, redstone dust, redstone lamp, redstone dust, redstone lamp. For every single one of these, like this. All right, and then you want to do uh, dispensers facing up. I would do face up. It'd probably be a lot easier. All right. And then, yeah, so concretes, I would do it in rainbow order. I mean, it really doesn't have to be rainbow order, but, I mean, I would do it rainbow order, you know? It just seems fun. just seems necessary, you know what I mean? All right. Uh, oh, wait, no, we didn't do this right, did we? Oh, no, we did. No, we did. No. No, we didn't. Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, yeah, no, we didn't. Okay, yeah, so you actually don't... Okay, so, yeah, so it turns out you actually don't even need uh, redstone for this. Um... All right, sorry y'all, had to charge my phone. But anyways, uh, oh, why am I placing purple concrete behind everything? I did not even realize I was doing that. Okay, let me get this in focus here, or in uh, in view here. Sorry, I know I'm taking forever. This tutorial's long anyway, so here we go. All right, so yeah, make sure, yeah, so we don't actually need redstone for any of this, apparently, so. Alrighty, 
Yeah, so we didn't have to worry about the redstone dust. So you want to put redstone lamp on the tops like this. Alrighty, and then you just want to put the corresponding carpets on top. Uh, so what I mean by that is obviously with the purple machine, you want to put the purple carpet and, you know, that's, yeah, and then so on and so forth. I don't have to explain myself. Should be pretty simple what you're trying to, what you're, uh, you should be pretty obvious what I'm having you guys do. And I don't know why I don't have my stone button. I'm pretty sure I grabbed that. I don't think I did actually, but yeah. So now grab stone button and painting, put paintings on the fronts of the machines here like so. Uh, or on front of the redstone lamps, and then put um, your, oops, uh, your buttons at the bases here like so, and that's it. Yeah, that's literally, it's that simple. I'm not even joking. So, yeah, so now you can just grab, like, um, six packs of tickets. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, uh, and then you can just uh, delete the wool in front of every single, uh, um, Thing here and then you can just fill these up with tickets I know this is pretty time-consuming but I mean uh, but yeah so yeah sorry I know my camera keeps getting out of view um, I'm not good at really recording my TV screen am I oh what the, what the heck I know I grabbed six packs I don't know why it's weird okay that's dumb anyways um, at least I thought I grabbed six packs I don't know maybe I didn't um, but yeah so yeah make sure you have enough for each machine and then, yeah, fill them up, and then this should be good to go. Uh, no, it's not, of course. All right, so never mind. Of course, I'm an idiot and did it wrong. And excuse everything happening in the hallways. That's just my nephews, so I apologize. But, yeah, so just grab all the tickets. I'm just, Okay, this is annoying. I'm serious. I'm actually getting annoyed right now. Okay. Okay, let's make sure. Okay, and then, of course, grab your dispenser if you haven't already. And then, yeah, so, oh, God, what am I doing? Boom, 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 and then, all right, and then, okay, guys, so I had to go take care of something again. <laughs> um, so, basically, okay, so with these machines, I mean, you guys saw how to build them. Uh, so, basically, um, you want to have the dispensers underneath them face, like, facing this way, and you want to make sure the entire back of the machine is all filled up, because otherwise the dispensers, or, otherwise the tickets are going to go back here, and it's going to be annoying, so make sure everything is filled up around the machines, otherwise, uh, you should get full results, so obviously make sure the machines are filled, of course this one's not, uh, but make sure, you know, make sure the machine's filled, and yeah, so basically what it's supposed to be is like the video game, or, yeah, basically it lights up, and then it gives you the tickets, so, that's what that's, that's what all of them are supposed to do, hopefully it worked for you guys, yeah, I had trouble with the mechanism, it was just me being an idiot, like always, so now, uh, uh, gosh, my voice is quitting on me, um, this tutorial's so long, uh, alright, so now let's get to these claw machines, shall we, so, I'm gonna go ahead and keep, I'm gonna keep the tickets in a, uh, in a chest in here, just so I can have them. Uh, I don't know why. I'm just kind of. I don't know. I'm just gonna. Just gonna keep them all in here, just so I don't have to worry about them. Uh, I don't know why I put the chest in there. That was dumb. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah. So once you've uh, once you've done that. All right. So once we've taken care of everything. All right. So you're gonna go ahead and put your carpets away. Go ahead and put all your concrete away. We don't need any of it anymore. Put everything away except for your dispenser and your redstone. You're gonna need those. Uh, and of course your tickets. You'll need the. Well, no, not the tickets. No, not the tickets. You don't need tickets. You need. Uh, you're gonna need all your he all the heads that you have. So zombie head. Uh, so yeah, literally just any sing every single head that you have. So yeah, just all all the heads. I don't know what happened to the uh, wither skeleton skull. All the heads and skulls you want to have. There it is. Oh, excuse me. All right, and then you want to have two uh, random color concrete of any choice. I'm just gonna do red and yellow. I'm just gonna do yellow and green. Um. And then I believe, yeah, and then we're going to need, uh, oh, and then you're going to need stone, uh, or no, no, I would actually grab, like, some sort of, like, red button, so I'm going to grab mangrove button and then a lever, so grab lever, you're going to need that, of course, I have no idea where the lever is, okay, uh, oh my, oh yeah, you're going to need lightning rod, I forgot about that, and the withers, I don't know how I forgot about this skull, so yeah, you're going to need, uh, oh, what the heck, okay, yeah, so you're going to need that, all right, um, and then, yeah, so lever. Where is the lever? I know it's in here. Um, okay, I don't know. I think I got rid of it for some stupid reason again. Okay, so yeah, you're going to need lever, and then I think you're also going to need just uh, some plain glass pane. I don't feel like going through the chest to grab that, so I'm just going to grab that here. 
Alrighty, and then that should be that. So uh, I'll be right back because I have to figure out the mechanism for this thing. Alright y'all, so I think I have a general idea of how this works, hopefully. So, um, of course I forgot a material. Uh, there's, uh, there's two other materials you'll need. You'll need quartz slab and quartz block, uh, as well as white concrete, as I just grabbed here. Okay, um, okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to, so from, uh, so let's say, so the gap between the red and orange machines here, you want to cut, so like right from here, so right here, you want to come out by one, two, three, four, and then on the fourth block, place whatever material you have. I know this is marked as pink, but that's because it was pink in the original, and I just chose, you know, green because it was a random color. All right, go back by three, left by three, down by three, and then in by one, all right, and then out by two, just like that. All right, and you want to leave a gap of two going towards the back of the building, or going towards the other side of the building here, and you want to do the exact same thing. So four, three, three, one, two. All right, just like that. Uh, and of course I did the same color, I guess. You know what, we'll just, I'll just do yellow. I'll just do yellow, make it look better. Um, it really doesn't matter. You can do the same color. I don't really care, but you know, it's just, I would, I would recommend making it different colors to make it more colorful in here. Alrighty, so now, um, what you're gonna wanna do is this mechanism. So it's gonna be kinda weird. Um, first of all, quartz stairs right between here. That's what you wanna do. And then uh, white concrete inside the the inside here like so all right and then in each of the corners here you want to extend up by two like so all right and then um that's what you want to do on all on both machines extend uh the four corners up here by by two Ta uh, and then in between them you want to put glass pane just like so uh and then i suppose uh well i guess okay i was gonna say you could put glass block there but it really doesn't matter uh, and then you want to just put, oh, and then before you actually put quartz slab on top of everything, um, hang on, just put, just put quartz slab around here. Don't actually fill the top up with quartz slab yet. Um, but yeah, and then of course do the same thing with this machine. And then I'll show you guys how to make the mechanism for like making the machine work, uh, which again is pretty tricky. So bear with me on that. Uh, okay. I'm gonna have to get out of here. So, all right. And then quartz slab around the top here, lock show. There we go. Okay, and then uh, like a lever here and here. Okay, so you want to dig. Uh, you want to dig below where. Uh, so I would actually go ahead and dig out two rows like this. All right, and then you want to. Okay, so we have the redstone, right? So you're gonna put redstone underneath where the button is, which of course the button's not there right now. <laughs> uh, but of course, you know, put a button there. All right, and then um, you know, dig. Okay, right, and dig under here. Put the uh, redstone under here, like so. All right, and then uh, you want to dig down, and then you want to just keep digging down until you hit um, bedrock, like so. Obviously, if you're on, uh, at least if you're on flat world. If you're in uh, not flat world, just dig down by three like this. All right, and then I think, yeah, and I think that's, uh, yeah, so let me just test, make sure, yep, okay, test, make sure that it lights up. All right, and then uh, you're going to want to put a... Uh, I think I don't know where the dispenser goes. I think it's like right here, isn't it? Hang on. I'm just gonna do a test real quick here. We'll put an animal in here <laughs> An animal wait. No, I meant zombie head. Sorry Yeah, that's not working. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, that's not working obviously because it's too high. Let me try that again Oh, well now it's not Okay. Yeah, we put the animal in there again. Uh, it was so funny that I said that. Okay, so now okay So now that's coming out there. Okay, so maybe all right, so now let's see if we can uh, make it. Okay, put the animal back in there. <laughs> uh, oops. All right, there we go. Let's try this again. Dang it. Of course it's not working. Oh, well, no crap because it's coming out on this side. All right, so you want to make sure it's completely surrounded in here. Um, I kind of sound like the police, you know. You got, we got it completely surrounded. I don't know. Anyways, uh, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, then you just want to. All right, so now let's see if it'll work. Put the animal back in there. <laughs> I don't know why I keep calling it that. I just, I just found that so funny. Uh, oh, now it's not even, like, working, is it? Oh, weird. Okay. Oh, maybe because we don't even need this down here. Okay, maybe. Okay. Sorry. I know. I know this is really annoying, guys. I'm, like, you know, because these... Uh, I'm sorry about... I don't know if you heard my watch. Sorry about that. But anyways... Dang it. Okay, why is it... I still don't get it. Why is it not... Like, I filled this up. 
Right. Oh, wait, no. I still don't get it. Wait, this is this is so weird. Okay, yeah, so um This is still really 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 weird. Oh wait, no, it still needs to be down here. So I don't know why I still don't know why it's being weird like this. Oh, okay. Wait, oh no, okay, I think I get it now. Okay, so it's supposed to be down okay, so yeah, you want the yeah, this is weird, guys. All right, so yeah, you want it to be um, under here. This is confusing. I don't even know. I may have to pa I may have to cut the video off just to figure this out because I don't know why it's not coming out. This is really weird. Okay, yeah, let me figure this out, guys. Okay, y'all. So after uh, a ton of a uh, ton of time here, I finally figured out the. Yeah, so I don't know why, but, like, I think Minecraft did some sort of update or something, but, like, none of my original mechanisms are working. So, basically, uh, so this is where the button is. You're going to have underneath it redstone uh, going down underneath uh, these two items here. Uh, and then underneath the stair here is where they're gonna have you're gonna have a redstone lamp and then and then the dispenser So and then make sure the dispenser, you know has like a gray wool or something beside it to block it off Because otherwise it's gonna come out the side and it's really weird. All right, and then of course block it off up top there And then once you've done that you can fill it up with all the prizes I would recommend probably putting like multiple prizes multiple of each prize in there uh, And then of course, you know make sure you have your lever and stuff up here all right, and then also um, make sure you put the prizes inside the machine as well. Uh, also, make sure you have your lightning rod and then get your smooth quartz slab as well. And uh, I'll have a. I'll, I'm. I'm ugh, what am I trying to say here? Um, I plan on making a separate tutorial for like each of like ma like working arcade machines. So uh, not for a while, but you know, definitely at some point. Um, so yeah. Uh, in here, you want to go ahead and put an upside down lightning rod. That's, of course, the claw. Uh, and then you just want to put, you know, a bunch of heads and stuff in here. Probably, yeah, that's a little big. <laughs> but, you know, definitely, you know, uh, put some heads and stuff in here just to really fill the machine up. Okay, I wouldn't put the dragon head. I don't like that. I don't know why. I just don't like that one. All right. Oh, gosh. This is cramped in here. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm going to have to get out and place it. That's kind of annoying. But, yeah. And then, of course, fill the top up with slab. Uh, and then if you haven't already put glass in front of here and boom yeah there's a claw machine so yeah kind of hard to do but once you get it done it's pretty easy so yeah then you of course would do the same for this one um, but yeah you click it and then it uh, it dispenses all the random heads and all sorts of stuff so yeah pretty fun pretty cool and then yeah this is where you can like mess around with it and stuff yeah pretty cool looking machine um, but yeah and then of course you have this one right here which I'm not going to do the mechanism for this one, but um, literally again, you would just fill this up with all kinds of heads and whatever. So, uh, so yeah, really uh, doesn't matter the order of the heads, but yeah. Oh, and of course, don't uh, make sure you have enough room for the claw, obviously. But but yeah, once you get that figured out, uh, there you go. There's your claw machines, and yeah, I mean that's like. I think that's all the working machines. Oh, except for the air hockey table. But other than that, that's all the working machines done. So we're like almost, we're, I don't know if we're actually, I think we're already two hours into this tutorial. This place, this tutorial is ridiculous. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and put these away. Um, and then, yeah, let's just start throwing stuff away in here. Um, because I don't know what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. And then, yeah, so just start throwing stuff away. All right, so now what we're gonna need is we're gonna need um, we're gonna need uh, some cyan shulker blocks, um, warped planks, and then the warped stairs wherever I put those. There we go. And then the ice, the blue ice, as well. You're gonna need those, and then you're gonna need your uh, your mangrove buttons as well as your blue warped buttons. Pretty sure I grabbed those, right? I had to have, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, I know I grabbed those. All right. And I think that's it. Yeah, and that's yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and then hopper, of course. You need hopper. Wherever the hopper went. I have no idea where I put that. There we go. All right, and then that's it. So then come back and do the um yeah, so then you could uh oh, and then actually no, we need quartz stairs as well. I have no idea where I put those. Uh here we go. Quartz. Oh, not dark oak. Quartz. Stupid game. There we go. All right. So now come back into here. All right. So from uh all right. So from 
So from right here, from this claw machine right here, from this block right here, you're gonna leave a gap of one, two, three, and then on the fourth block, you're gonna do a warped planks, uh, you're gonna do a uh, hopper, and then you're gonna do a uh, an upside down warped stair, and then a cyan shulker box at the end. Uh, but I would put just like a, uh, um, okay, hang on, before we do anything here, let's put, uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five rows of blue ice be behind all this. And then uh, behind the planks here, you want to do upside down stairs. You want to do five quartz, upside down quartz stairs. And then uh, another warped planks at the end. Or actually, yeah, no, I would do the cyan shulker box on the end there. All right, so yeah, and then just put the quartz stairs on either side and then put the cyan shulker box so that's facing out like that. Uh, and then you want to put the upside down warp stairs and then of course the hopper and then uh, the warp planks and then I think that's uh, I think that's yeah, that's it. All right, and then and Then of course mangrove button on one side warp button on the other and then uh, and Yeah, and then I think after that you really just need uh, the heart of the sea for something to play with uh, Heart of the sea is by far the best one out here so yeah, um, so now all you gotta do is really just, uh, yeah, so okay, this is kind of difficult, but once you get used to it, you kind of want to aim a little higher, there you go, now it skates across, and then you get into the opponent's goal, and there you go, and then you can obviously do it back and forth, and then put it away in there, and there you go, there's the air hockey table, let me just really quickly uh, get rid of all the concrete under here, because it looks pretty gross, doesn't it? <laughs> all right. But yeah, other than that, I mean, this this is a really nice looking air hockey table. You can even put this in a real house. I mean, this is really nice. Uh, yeah, there you guys go. Um, so now that is actually all of the working machines, uh, besides the stage, of course. But this is like all the like functioning, working machines you can play with uh, in the Chuck E. Cheese. So yeah, there you guys go. Uh, pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and close this door because I have OCD. <laughs> all right. But now, let's take care of all the seating, which this is pretty easy, so we don't need any fa fancy mechanism for this, which is nice. Um, of course, why would you? It's just seats. Um, you know, it's not like moving seats or anything, so. All right, let me just throw all this stuff away in here, because I have so much junk. All right. So, for this, um, obviously, you would need your, uh, your polished uh, blackstone stairs uh, and then your um, scaffolding uh, purple and lime carpet and concrete so lime concrete uh, as well as purple concrete and then lime carpet purple carpet uh, and then you would also go ahead and grab uh, bushes as well alrighty and then I think it's just oakwood stairs and oakwood um, yeah, it's just oakwood stairs, oakwood planks, and then that's it. Okay, so, yeah, so then you can come in here. All right, and then from, uh, okay, so from, like, the middle block of this last uh, um, basketball machine here, you want to leave a gap of one and then place uh, oakwood plank. Going towards the left, you want to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Gap of two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On top of this, you want to do two oakwood stairs facing each other at the ends, and then planks in the middle, stairs at the ends like this, and then facing, and then planks towards the middle like so. All right, and then in the very middle here, you want to do two lime, and then in the middle here, two purple. All right, and then on top of those, you want to just do leaves. All right, and then on either side here, you just want to do uh, the stairs the scaffolding and stairs and on top of the scaffolding you can just do like the opposing the opposite color from what's underneath the leaves so like this one has green underneath the leaves so i'm going to do purple tables purple uh you know purple plant um green table you know that's what i'm kind of doing here so yeah this is uh um, yeah pretty self-explanatory uh and then of course you just place your seating and then your carpeting and your tables and there you go uh, excuse me and there you go um there's that whole thing done. Oh, I suppose we should do the tube thing, but uh, I guess we'll take care of that later. Um, but yeah, so now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take care of the big tables, the big party tables, all right? Yeah, I think we'll do the tube, the tubes before we do the stage. Uh, the stage is like the hardest part, so we'll take care of that. I think we'll, that'll be the very last thing we do 
because that is a, a handful. So I think we should probably do all the easier stuff before we do all that. All right, I'm trying to look for the emptiest chest because everything is so full. Alrighty, so go ahead and grab your quartz stairs, your quartz slab. Uh, oh, you probably didn't want to get rid of your uh, polished blackstone stairs. And then go ahead and grab... Oh, goodness, grab your flower pot. Uh, where is it? Your um, item frames and your pumpkin pie. So pumpkin pie and your item frames. I think they're in this chest for some reason. Yeah, there is. Okay, so yeah, once you've grabbed all that... Um, we're going to come back into the Chuck E. Cheese. All right. And then from, uh, okay. So from this chair right here, right? So from this chair, you're going to leave a gap of three or no gap of two. You're going to leave a gap of two. You're going to put, put uh, a block and then an upside down quartz stair, uh, two stairs on the sides like that. Uh, and then, and then you're basically going to leave a gap of four going towards the back of the building. And you're just gonna do the same exact thing. So stair and then extend, well, except for the middle. So actually the middle table is four blocks wide instead of three, obviously to make it even. So that's the only difference here. Uh, and then again, gap of four, and then, you know, the same as the other table, um, uh, three blocks, all right. And then extend forward using slab by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then um, on the other side here, put the upside down stairs, of course. And then, yeah, and then just uh, put your slab facing, or sorry, put yeah, just connect them all together using slab. And then you just want to do the same exact thing for all the other tables. I mean, you don't really have to count like uh, how wide or how like long they are, because you can see like they're, they're all the tables are the same length, but they're not the same width. You know what I mean? The two end tables are, but the very middle one is a completely different uh, width. So, so yeah, just connect all the slab together. You know, put the stairs on the other side, you know, very, very simple. These are very simple tables to make. Uh, and then, yeah, so then you would just extend this all the way to the other side like so. Um, and then once you've done that on the other side here, you just want to put stairs, leaving a gap of one from each stair. And then it also should, it's, uh, it all should be even. Sorry, I'm having a stroke just trying to talk. And yeah, I mean, you guys can see we've got, we're getting a big amount of Chuck E. Cheese done. I mean, we already got a big amount of Chuck E. Cheese done. We only have to do the stage and then the tubes after this and then we're done. And then also some carpeting as well. We have to put some carpet around the place because it's boring. All right, in front of every chair, you want to put an item frame. Uh, and obviously you want to put a, a pie in, on it because it's meant to be like pizza. So you would just put that in the item frames. And then in between each item frame, you would just put a flower pot. These are obviously meant to be drinks. Um, okay, yeah, sorry, this pizza is gonna give me OCD. Sorry, I have OCD, guys, it's kind of annoying. Uh, oops, but yeah, and so, yeah, so like I said, in front of every stair, you just wanna put uh, an item frame and put pumpkin pie in it. Uh, and then, and then in between the item frames, you wanna put flower pots. So for every table, you wanna do this, uh, at least these big tables. Um, and then, yeah, that'll just make the tables look full and nice. Oh, and also between the tables, I forgot about this, you wanna grab, uh, green and purple or lime and purple uh, carpet uh so we can just grab them from the tables if you have pick block so in the middle um you want you just put two rows because obviously then it's not centered uh, if you don't do that all right and then you can just do purple on this one as well as the other one and then yeah this just just kind of makes the make gives the gives the table some color just really looks good. And I think actually the tables on the on the actual place actually have some sort of like paper or something, some sort of cloth going through them. Um, but yeah, and there you go. Those are the big party tables. Really, really nice. Um, yeah, you guys can see a big portion of Chuck E. Cheese is already done. So yeah, now we need to do uh, the tubes. Okay, y'all. So to make the tubes, as you can see, I've already made them here. It's going to be a lot easier just to have them made here. So, all right. So the materials you're going to need for this, um, you're going to need a bit here. So you're going to need white, uh, oh, you actually don't need white concrete. I don't even know why I have that. So you're going to need ladder, you're going to need red concrete, item frame, red stained glass, mangrove stairs, mangrove slab, yellow stained glass, lime stained glass, black concrete, lime, light blue, yellow concrete, and then light blue stained glass. All right. And also, uh, this little thing is meant to be a foot, uh, um, shoe cubby. This was something else I've added. This is just kind of an added detail. You don't have to add this if you don't want to. Alright, so right next to the door here, this very left door of the kitchen, alright, uh, you want to put two uh, red concretes with a red uh, glass up top, 
red concrete up top, and then beside it, green concrete, green glass, green concrete, then blue concrete, blue glass up top, and then a blue concrete beside it, uh, and then three blue concretes beside that, and then a blue glass. Coming down to yellow to the right, uh, glass and concrete, and then down concrete, and then up, out forward concrete like that. All right, and then these two middle blue blocks here, you wanna extend out by one, and then put blue glass pane in the middle, or, or not in the middle, but in front of it. And then below that, you wanna have three uh, rows of light blue coming out, and then um, a ladder on the front, and then item frame uh, on the ends here, here and here, and then black concretes in them. Those are just meant to be wheels. This is meant to be like a car that kinda of sticks out here. And then a gap of one from here, you wanna just put some mangrove stairs and then mangrove slab up top. That's again a foot cubby, or foot cubby, shoe cubby. Uh, and if you want to as well, just to add some more detail, uh, you can even put like uh, different, you can even put shoes in them. Maybe put them in like different spots so it kinda of looks like, oh wow, of course I already, uh, I don't know why. All right, yeah, so it kinda of looks like, uh, you know, some have shoes, some don't. It just kinda of makes it look more realistic, I think. But yeah, that, I actually like that. I actually like that better than what it was before, and have it not having that there. So now, before we do the stage, because again, it is a very daunting ta taunt, daunting, whatever. We're gonna grab composter first of all, and then just beside this right door to the kitchen, we're gonna leave a gap of one from each side here, and then just put two trash cans there, basically. And then go ahead and grab lime and purple carpet. We're gonna just start putting carpet around the place, because this place could this place could use some carpet. So right by the bathrooms here, you could definitely put some, uh, maybe just one row of carpet here in the middle, just kind of kind of checkerboard pattern, or you can just do one solid color, doesn't matter. Um, really just to kind of decorate the place, uh, you know, so it really doesn't matter. I, don't, I mean, I wouldn't put any here. Maybe over here, too. Maybe over here, definitely, you know, just kind of... Again, this is just to completely fill up the entire place, so it really does not matter. Um... How much carpet you use, because uh, again, it's just to fill up the place. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, so yeah, this would look, this does look really good. It adds a lot to the to the interior, and it, you may not think it does, but it really does. Uh, I probably wouldn't put any carpet through here. I don't know. I just don't think it's necessary. Sorry about the uh, noise out there. Um, anyways, uh, and then boom. Oops. Wow, that's not right. Boom, 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 and then just bunch of, I don't know. So yeah, literally, again, just putting some carpet around here, you know, it really does, you know, it does add a lot to the place. Um, maybe even making this go uh, a little further here. Um, oh, why did I do that? Okay. And then, yeah, just boom, 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 boom. There we go. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's the entire, uh, that's like a whole carpet place there. Uh, you can even put some carpet there, but it really doesn't matter. Um, I wouldn't put too much because, again, it really doesn't need that much in here. And, uh, yeah, definitely right here I'd definitely put some, like, just kind of coming out the entrance here. Um, again, I'd maybe do some solid colors, too, not just check or checkerboard, but it doesn't matter, really. Um, but, yeah, um, other than that, I mean, you guys can see we are so close to being done. Two hours later, and we're still, cl we're, all, we're almost close to, be we're, we're so close to being done. I don't know why I struggled to say that. Okay, so now for the stage, by far, uh, the part I'm not looking forward to. Also, we don't need tickets anymore, so we can get rid of those. Alright, um, I think we can honestly get rid of all this in here. Uh, yeah, we can honestly get rid of everything in here, uh, except for the item frames. And also, don't get rid of your colored glass. Uh, FYI, do not get rid of those. We're gonna need those for stage lights. And also, I wouldn't actually go ahead and get rid of the black concrete. We don't need that anymore. Alrighty, but yeah, so keep your colored lights. In fact, actually go ahead and grab blue glass block. I'd recommend grabbing block. It just makes it look better, I think. So, just grab that, uh, and then go ahead and grab iron bars, wherever those are. Of course, I have no idea where I put mine. <laughs> um, iron bars, okay, I don't feel like trying to look for them, so I'm just going to grab them. <sighs> iron bars, and then light, no, that's not right. Light gray concrete, as well as light gray carpet. Alrighty, um... And then, uh, as well as black concrete. Of course, I just got rid of that. I'm stupid. Uh, and then, nope. Oops, that's not right. Note block. All right. And then go and grab some jukeboxes, because why not? Uh, black wool uh, for the background. Black wool. 
And then you're also gonna need some banners. So you're gonna need, uh, where are the banners, where are the banners? All right, so you're gonna need red, purple, and lime banners. So make sure you grab those. Um, and then uh, I think we'll just stick with those for now. Uh, we'll grab some other stuff later. We'll grab all the stuff like the mechanism and all the animatronic stuff as well. All right, so uh, first things first, uh, right where this window is right here, the second window, so where the air hockey table is, you got two windows. The second window, just directly beside it here, uh, you can see we have the gray concrete. So you're going to dig out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So just beside this next window. So it's con all two. So basically it's as long as all of this birchwood planks. You're going to dig out uh, light gray concrete into the ground there and then extend out by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on both sides and then connect at the front. And then, of course, now do not fill it in. Do not fill it in. I repeat, do not fill it in because we still have to put the mechanism in it. In fact, I would dig it. Uh, in fact, in the inside, I would actually, I would actually dig out one more uh, layer out uh, because the mechanism is a little is a few ways down. So it's it's a bit weird. The mechanism the mechanism is really weird. So uh, I'm actually gonna do the mechanism off camera because it's gonna be really complicated to do like in the tutorial. So I don't know because I literally don't remember the mechanism. So <laughs> oh my gosh, what the, was that? Um, Anyways, uh, and yeah, there's a few things I need to go check, so I'll be right back. Alright, y'all, so first things first, uh, you're going to take your black wool, and you're just going to completely fill up the entire back of this. Uh, so if you notice on a lot of stages, there's like backdrops and stuff, so this is basically a backdrop, alright? Once you've done that, um, you want to actually grab, uh, yeah, so you want to grab light gray concrete, you want to take your light gray concrete, uh, go ahead and dig that out right there. Like a concrete, um, and actually grab dark oak wood stairs and just put dark oak wood stairs on the side. Go ahead and put light gray concrete on the very front here, like so. Just do that. And then dark oak wood stairs on the side and make sure that's like that. There we go. Okay. And next, go ahead and put jukeboxes on either side here, just for this is like so they can play music. All right. So now for the lights. So what we're going to do is we're going to put all these materials away, except for the beacon. Oh, yeah. I didn't tell you guys to grab beacon. Go ahead and grab beacon. Uh, also grab a uh, warped button and a uh, crimson button. Go ahead and grab those as well. And yeah, and then grab all your stained glass and then your uh, item frame, all right? Oh, and also grab um, your note block and uh, black concrete. Go ahead and grab all that. All right, so right above this first uh, light gray concrete, um, it'd be easier to kind of line it up with the ceiling here like this. Uh, you want to put an iron bar, all right? And then you want to put beacon, uh, two iron bars, beacon, and then an iron bar just like that. Or no, no, sorry, two iron bars, and then a beacon, and then another iron bar. Okay, just like that. And then on the other side, you want to do the exact same thing. So you just want to, again, line this up with the ceiling from the very, uh, like, block, this very great concrete here. All right, and then you're going to do beacon, two iron bars, beacon, two iron bars, beacon, and then iron bar. All right, just like that. And then where the two iron bars are, you want to put item frames, just like so. So these are simply just stage lights. These would be, like, the flashing color lights that would play whenever the animatronics are like dancing having fun so that's what these are supposed to be uh and then of course you would just put random colors in each one um just like this so yeah um yeah it doesn't have to be the same for this as well i mean you can do like different colors and different item frames you can even have like two in one area so that would probably be better but no nah, i'm not gonna do it that way all right yeah see i can you kind of have them swap there so i might as well swap the red and blue right <laughs> it's just to cure my OCD sort of there we go not cure it but whatever anyways so yeah there's the stage lights and then speakers um it's like t right here so a block from uh, the, the end item frame or the end uh, iron bars here and then you just want to put item frames you're going to want to crouch for this which sucks but yeah you want to put item frames all around all around the note block here just like so boom de boom de boom and then black concrete all up in here just like so and then a block uh, a block from here you want to oops no a block from there all right you want to do the same exact thing that's thing gosh i can't talk <laughs> all right so then uh there's your speakers all right um once we get these black concretes in here so yeah these are just the big speakers i would play music um so yeah there you go um so now it is time uh but first we have to figure out the curtains and i actually have no idea um how to do the curtains uh so yeah i'll be back again 
All right, y'all, so as you can see, I got the mechanisms working. So the way you want to do this, first of all, you're going to want to grab a note block, redstone repeater, redstone torch, sticky piston. You don't need dirt. I don't know I have that. Light gray concrete, I, um, armor stand, redstone dust, uh, purple carpet. You don't need either. That was for something else I was doing. Um, and yeah, so once you've grabbed all that, so you want to go ahead and uh, so come to the very left side, right? You want to delete the stairs, um, right? So you want to delete the stairs uh, from this block right here. Over here, and you actually want to make sure, like I said, to dig down into the ground. And go ahead, and uh, these back two rows, go ahead and dig further, like, into the ground here. Like, so as you can kind of see how these two back rows are, like, dug into the ground more. You want to do that, all right? And then next, so on the, on the, rest, on the left side here, you want to put three redstones. Redstone, uh, three redstone dust, all right? Extend up by one on here, and then go down by two, and then go forward by one. And then you can see the redstone... Uh, car parator, or sorry, redstone repeater. You want to put that, and then you want to put that on the second tick to make it go fast, or the third tick to make it go slow. Uh, and then, yeah, and then that, yeah, so then, yeah, so it took, yeah, yeah, so you can set it at whatever speed you want it to be bouncing at. Uh, and then you want to put a block next to it, and then put two redstone torches, and then put a piston on top, and then put the armor stand on top. Now, they are going to be pointing. I don't know why the redstone causes it to point. And you can't change the position, like the... You can't t change the posture, which is kind of weird. So, I would put this on backwards, like this, so that it's pointing. So, like, this one is pointing this guy, this guy's pointing at this guy, and then this guy is, like, pointing at, like, that crowd. I don't know. So... That's how you do that, and then, um, and then for this side, once you've extended it forward, you want to extend it up by three, put three blocks here, and then uh, extend here at the sides like this, so you guys can see what I'm talking about, and then put uh, redstone, or sorry, not redstone, you want to put note block at the end here, and then it'll connect to the music, and then there you go, so it looks like it's bouncing, he's playing music, pretty cool, all right. So now leaving a gap, so from like where the redstone torch is, one, two, three, and the fourth block here, you want to put two redstone, extend forward on one side here. And then on this side, you want to put the uh, redstone repeater. And then in front of the redstone repeater, you want to put a uh, a block of any kind, and then just torches on either side of it. And then a piston on top, and then the and then you want to place the uh, armor stand like right where I'm standing. That's where you want to place the armor stand. All right. Uh, and then um, and then for this guy. You want to, from the torch, you want to leave a gap of one, two, and then on the third block, you want to put a redstone um, dust with either, with redstone on either side. Uh, this one, you want to go up by one, so make sure there's a block here. Uh, make sure there's, like, two blocks here. Uh, so two blocks, and then, yeah, make that redstone go up, and then put, like, a block at the end of it, and then put a um, note block at the top, like that. All right, and then in the middle here, you want to put a redstone repeater, and then put redstone on the side like that, and then from the redstone repeater, you want to put a block, and then put the redstone on either side of the block, and then put a red, um, um, piston, and then put the armor stand on top. This one, you can just place it normally, just place it like where I'm standing, so, yeah, so then this guy's pointing left, this guy's pointing straight, yeah, so it all looks like they're pointing at each other, I think it looks really nice. So now, that's how you make the mechanisms. Whew, okay, finally got that out of the way, I was not, I was not thrilled about that. Also... Um, put your, uh, buttons around the, um, put the, uh, like, colored buttons around here like this, so it kind of gives the stage some detail. Alright, so now you can just grab, uh, you can pretty much put everything away. Uh, the very last thing we have to do with this Chuck E. Cheese, um, well, not the very last thing, we actually still have a few more things we have to do. Alright, so you're gonna want to grab, um, go ahead and, oops, not bricks, why do I have bricks? That's stupid. <clears throat> Excuse me, birchwood slab. Alright. And then, um, you're also gonna need, uh, let me see, warp stairs, yeah, and then, um, I don't know, I think it was, yeah, okay, I remember now, it was, okay, no, it wasn't warp stairs, it was, yeah, it was stone brick stairs, and then, um, and it had, like, I don't know, I think it was, like, warped slab underneath it, and then, yeah, okay, so, all right, so I'm gonna kind of show you guys how to make the instruments. So on either side of the birchwood slab here, which is, this is gonna be a bit difficult. Oof. I think we should just go ahead and fill up the stage first before we even try to do anything. So I honestly have no idea how to fill up the stage. So, <laughs> so okay, so right behind these stairs here, you can actually go ahead and fill that up. And then behind here. Okay, so on the right side, you can just go ahead and just put the blocks there. And then the two front rows, of course, you can just do that as well. Oh, actually, never mind. you have it? Yeah, you wanna stop right here. All right, where the this first mechanism is, 
All right, and we're, st we're topping this all off with light gray carpet. So yeah, go ahead and put light gray carpet on top of everything here. And then uh, hopefully it doesn't cut off the, okay, good, didn't cut off the, oh, wait, wow. Okay, I just figured, I just realized that's, uh, that's not, oh. Oh, okay, so I think I made, uh, okay. So maybe hopefully I can add this on top. Oh, oh, okay, but it only got, oh, that's weird. It only does the two side ones. Okay, well, that's okay. That's how it was on the original. So that's all right. So yeah, you actually want to put two more, you want to put more note blocks on top there. Um, maybe if I put, I don't know, maybe, hang on, hopefully, okay, this is going to be tricky without having to, I have an idea, guys. Of course, whenever I have an idea, it never goes well, but I'm going to try this one for once. I don't know if it'll actually work, but, oops, I'm going to have to crouch and do this. So maybe, just maybe, oh my gosh, I cannot get out of here, can I? Nope, okay, I didn't think so. All right, that's all right. It still looks good. At least it still plays music. It's all good. Uh, I'll definitely change the, I'll, de I'll change the notes of the music so that they play differently, play different notes, make it sound better. All right, and then of course, uh, just put light gray carpet around here. Uh, make sure it's not like that. All right, so, and then just on top of all the um, light gray, you wanna put light gray carpet. Um, so, oh, yeah, guys, this is, uh, this is a long, this is probably by far the longest tutorial on this channel, guys, my goodness. Like, longer than any of the movie studio logos, and that's wild, that is wild. Probably the biggest city build I've ever done on this channel. Um, yeah, but anyways, um, yeah, so now, okay, so now around here, you can go ahead and fill it normally, so like here, here, oops, I didn't mean for that to happen, oops, there, and yeah, you can see it actually bounces as, at, at a slower pace, so that looks a lot better, so the blocks, I don't know what it is, but it, he bounces at a slower pace now, and he's not, you know, jolting as much, so, uh, so that's good at least, um, and then I think you can actually, if you, uh, if you just like cover that up like this and then and I think cover that up like that yeah he won't there we go yeah there we go see he won't jolt around as much it honestly looks a lot better and he won't go like into the ground as much so that's good because yeah you can see this guy is like going all the way into the piston so yeah I'll show you guys how to fix that that's what we just did over here so yeah and then over here of course you just fill it normally do 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 all right and then of course you get to the next mechanism here you can just fill it normally up until you get to the piston because Oh, I don't know why I keep giving him the piston. That's not what I meant to do. All right, so then you just wrap the blocks around the piston here, uh, as well as, like, down here. So just kind of make sure that all the... The piston is, like, completely surrounded like that. And then you can see he bounces at a normal pace, and it looks a lot better. There we go. All right, and then same with this guy, uh, except this one's... Yeah, this one's... Okay, yeah, this one's... Yeah, so literally you do the same thing with that one. Uh, and then, like I said, just completely wrap this with the uh, block so it looks better. And there you go. So as you guys can see, he's not... Oh, wait. Did I mess up? I think I messed up Spock. He's not supposed to be bouncing like that. That could just be his speed, but I have no idea. I could. I may have... I think I messed a spot somewhere. I didn't miss a spot. Okay, yeah, never mind. It doesn't matter. It still looks good, so it's all right. Um, but yeah, so... Okay, yeah, it doesn't... Yeah, okay, no, that's how it's supposed to be bouncing. Okay. Okay, I'm going to change the speed of this one, because I don't like how it's like... Okay, not this one, actually. I want to change the speed of one of them. I don't know which one I want to change the speed of. Here we go. So, yeah, like I said, you can change the speed of all of them. There we go. That's better. That's what I like to see. Alrighty. There we go. See, I like, you know, like the sides going fast, but then the middle's going slow. It just makes it look better. I would recommend you do that. This I would recommend you guys do the same. Um, But, yeah, and then uh, after that... um. Yeah, and then just fill all that up, and then uh, put carpet on top, and there you guys go. There's the animatronic stage. Of course, we still have to put the instruments here. Um, uh, we still have to finish the instruments, uh, which I actually kind of forgot how to do those. So yeah, I'll be back once I figured out how to do the uh, the animatronic instruments. All right, y'all. So um, go ahead and grab yourself some warp plank or warp stairs, crimson planks, polished andesite stairs, birchwood slab, crimson slab, warp slab. All right, so for this, literally, it's just, uh, oh. Okay, you're just gonna have to do this. Uh, oh, this is weird. Uh, there we go. I don't know why it wasn't working. That was so weird. Yeah, you want to place it on top of the redstone, and then this one, you just gotta delete the, that, and then just place it right there. Boom. And there you go. It's not meant to be anything specific. It's kind of meant to be some sort of weird piano thing, whatever. All right, and then I think this one is also kind of weird, so... 
yeah so this one um you want to put like stairs on either side of it like this so kind of like it's kind of like this so you guys can kind of see where i've placed it hopefully and then just delete the blocks there yeah so for under here uh because obviously as you can see it's not uh you know this yeah it's not full you know it's you know you got you, the concrete excuse me the concrete's exposed so i would put light gray wool to look like there's carpet there you know, it's still, you can kill, you can still see, you know, where it's been, but you know, it's still, it still looks good, I think. Uh, and then warp slab up top, and then crimson slab on the sides. Again, some sort of funky instrument. It's not meant to be anything specific. Also, neither of these animatronics, they're not to be, meant to be anyone specific other than Chucky. This is meant to be Chucky. Everybody else, I have no idea who the frick these guys are. I have no idea. So, they're meant to be random animatronics. So, you know, you can, if you, if you can make the actual other animatronics, you know, with the, with all that, you can do that for yourself. Um, but yeah, and then of course, just, uh, uh, put, uh, the slab on either side like that and those are just meant to be symbols. I know those are pretty cheesy symbols, but uh, Tried my best, but yeah, and there you go. That's the entire animatronic stage and uh, <sighs> Yeah, believe it or not uh, that is the entire inside of your Chuck E. Cheese ignore my broken window. I was uh, I was I was I didn't feel like taking the door <laughs> Uh, I think that's the only window. No, it's not. Okay, let me fix these windows real quick. There we go. But yeah, that is the entire Chuck E. Cheese 100% fully completed, y'all. Finally, I've been wanting to get this out of the way for so long, guys, and it's finally done. Okay, let's just go through everything before we peace out here. First of all, we're going to go to the outside here. Um, first of all, the outside looks amazing. Obviously, you got the mouse, the, the text there. Again, this is based off of a real Chuck E. Cheese building, so yeah, I'm sure you, I'm sure you may have seen something like this in your city. Um, yeah, I'm super happy with how this turned out, the design. I mean, it looks really, really good. Um, so yeah, you know, got a back dumpster area. Um, yeah, overall, very, very nice. This would look good in any of your cities. Um, and it's fully functional on the inside as well, so very nice. Of course, the roof, nothing special about it. Um, yeah, you walk inside, of course, like I said, this is where the entrance is, where you get stamped, you know, if you're a kid, I guess. I don't know if they stamp the adults too, but yeah, but like, yeah, and then they let you through, um, and then, of course, here, in here is like an entryway. We got so much going on in here. Uh, we got token machines, which actually work. You click the button and the tokens come out. All right, uh, we got the prize counter. Of course, everyone loves the prize counter. You got all kinds of prizes up here and stuff, all kinds of plushies. Uh, let's know the price. Uh, you also might want to put like the signs up here as well. Um, but yeah, and then the tickets uh, is where the tickets are. The cash register, um, and then of course prizes in there. Those are fake prizes, obviously. And then of course it just lets you know prizes. Back here we have bathrooms. Nothing special, just a toilet and a sink. Probably the most boring part of this place. <laughs> Uh, and then the kitchens is where they serve. Apparently, uh, I've heard a lot about their pizza and how it's really bad. Um, I've, I don't have an opinion on it because I've never been to Chuck E. Cheese or I've had their pizza. So uh, let me know in the comments. Do you like uh, the pizza there? I have no idea because I have no idea. But kitchen, we got storage. Uh, got all kinds of gadgets and stuff here. This is where they prepare the food, drinks, you know, fryer, trash, um, sink and then we got the pizza oven here uh, and then of course in here we have the refrigerator and freezer beautiful uh so yeah and then uh if we head uh and then back here that's the trash we all know that uh oops and now for all of the rides and stuff well before we do that let's check out the manager's office manager's office looking nice in here uh you know you could definitely do a little more in here but still looks good nonetheless um, of course, we have the big tube playground here with an additional uh, shoe storage. I think looks really good. That was a nice addition. I didn't have that in the original. I think that looks a lot better with that. Um, little car ride. Oops, I got rid of Chucky's head. Uh, oh, well. Um, <laughs> uh, obviously, with Chucky's head there, you know, it looked, looked a lot better. We have like a little car ride here. We have a zombie snatcher game. It gives you tickets every time you click the button. Um, and then we have a bumper boats ride or a bumper cars ride. You know, you can roll around and crash into your friends and whatever. Um, right here we have a little, uh, coaster ride or kind of a, uh, merry-go-round ride. So, you know, get it going. Uh, you know, it does that, you know, it takes a while to get going, but once it gets going, it goes round and round, then you can turn it off. Then here we got the famous ticket blaster. 
Uh, this uh, I remember seeing these on. I remember seeing the commercials for this on TV. Of course, this just gives you tickets. It doesn't actually blast it at you, uh, which is kind of boring. Here we got a basketball game. Uh, I don't have the ball with me. I don't know where it's at. There it is. Um, so of course you would just throw it in the hoop. Lands in the hoop. Uh, the hopper, and then. Uh, oh, oh wait, I, that, I forgot. I don't think this one has the mechanism, does it? No. Okay. Um, but I mean, you get the idea. You throw it in there, and it's supposed to give you back. There we go. Okay. So yeah, this one doesn't have the mechanism. I don't think. Or yeah, that one doesn't have the mechanism. I remember. All right. So yeah, and then uh, there you go. And then you put that back in there. Uh, and then of course got but just a bunch of arcade machines. You click it, it lights up, and uh, yes, only some of these have tickets. So that's why none of them are. Yeah, so yeah, they're basically supposed to give you tickets. I didn't put tickets in all of them. I was lazy. And then of course the famous claw machine. You know, you move it. You, this doesn't do anything, but you can pretend to like move it around and then click the button, and then it gives you your prizes. And what's cool is that it actually dispenses random prizes, even though there's multiple of each prize in there. It'll dispense random ones. So it actually kind of looks like uh, you may even get two prizes in a row, which is pretty cool. So like two of the same prize in a row. Uh, and then, of course, here we got the air hockey table. Uh, again, I don't have the thing for it. Uh, there it is. All right. And then, of course, this is easy. You just skate it across and try to get into the opponent's goal. Let's see if it makes it in. Oh, yes. Got it. Just barely. Just barely. But we got it in. Alrighty, so yeah, that's pretty fun. This is definitely a two-player game. This is pretty cool. And then this is where you can keep your points. Uh, we, of course, got the all-famous animatronic stage. Super fun to look at. It plays music, and they bounce around. Really, really cool. Of course, got lights and speakers. You can actually play music in the um, uh, in here. Uh, what I would recommend for music, because a lot of the music is more calm and chilling, I would do uh, Other Side and uh, Pig Step by, uh, yeah, those two. I would do those two, because those are like the dance-sounding music, so... And yeah, we of course got the big tables with pizza and all sorts of stuff, big party tables. We of course got tables here for the parents to sit. Here is a little dance floor, you know, it lights up, plays music, super fun. It's got the screens up here. It's got the clock, we got the famous clock ride, which there's YouTube videos of people breaking these. <laughs> but you can sit in this, uh, hopefully you don't break it, hopefully you're old enough to be in it. And yeah, I mean, that's the entire, that's the entire Chuck E. Cheese. Wow, this was a handful, but we got it done, guys. Uh, yeah, this tutorial may have been pretty complicated, um, and it was super duper long, I apologize. Um, but it was worth it. Uh, looks really good in the end. I'm super proud of this place. Uh, it turned out really well. Um, it was a long road, but we made it. So I hope you guys did end up enjoying this tutorial. If you did, smash a like and subscribe if you haven't already, uh, or if you're new to the channel. Also, turn on post notifications if uh, so you don't miss uh, when another awesome tutorial like this one comes out. Um, but anyway, guys, I will see you all in the next video.